two. Welcome back to the number 12 podcast in the world. Number 12 for a reason, baby. Mm. And we're coming, we're going higher. Oh. Let's get it started. <laughs> uh oh. I want to check. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dang, dude. Please clap. I love this, uh, the change, the tonal change there in the middle. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's like a Beatles song. You know how they change it up? They're famous for doing that. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's a New beautiful movement. thing they do. They're on a curveball. Were you inspired, inspired by the Beatles in making that? Yeah. I listened to a bunch of Sgt. Pepper. That's cool. Yeah. 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 yeah remind me of that album. Welcome, everybody. It is July 6th. I am back from COVID. Um, I'm wearing, listen, I just want to say this up front. It's been 10 days since I got sick. So it's technically, been. it's been 10 days since, since I, I got, got sick. Everybody said I'd die, but I made it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been 10 days since I fell ill. According to the CDC, you don't even have to wear a mask after 10 days. But out of an abundance of caution... I'm just going to wear it today. Your mask is making me uncomfortable. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Tucker. It's uh, not about you. Please take off your mask. Bro, listen, I'm just being considerate of my employees. <laughs> this has got nothing to do with you. Stupid idiot. Call the police immediately. Bro, what? <laughs> Should I take it off? I'm making Tucker uh, uncomfortable. Making him uncomfortable. Yeah, I think, but I think the problem, I, got, I think I got respiratory damage, to be totally honest with you guys. Oh, great. My lungs are pretty effed up, and so I have a cough still, a pretty severe cough. You know, I've been coughing so much, I feel like I, feel like I was about to get oh, sick damn. again last night from coughing so much, mm. um, just like tearing up my throat. But, you know, anyway, I don't, I'm not contagious, but I just being, I'm just being uh, careful for all the play, pimps and players in here. So anyway, welcome back, guys. Um, shit. People are saying you're muzzled. You've been I'm muzzled. Canceled for the last time. God damn, putting this mask on me ain't <laughs> never again, boy. Oh, can you, how's the audio though? Because I was, I don't know. Does it sound a little messed up, or is it fine? I mean, you're definitely muffled, but audio. Oh. <laughs> Mister Bab says no chance that mask stays on the entire time. <laughs> Well, that's maybe fair. Well, anyway, we'll see what I can Muzzle do. Pov. We'll see how much energy I have. Because I'll tell you what, bro. I, I am so fatigued, too. I had to take a break going up those stairs. Because, like, Oof. it wow. feels like you walked up, like, three flights of stairs when you went up half of one. It's been hard, man. COVID sucks so bad, you guys. Like, seriously, don't get it. It sucks so fucking bad. And I'll tell you what even sucks more. I got out on my fucking birthday to a wedding I didn't even want to fucking go to, which I was very vocal about here. I said, it's on my birthday. I don't want to go to this fucking wedding. Uh, I've been happy to go to this wedding all month. It not only did it ruin my birthday, it ruined my whole fucking month. So I go to the wedding. Been dodging COVID for two years, folks. Two years. Come back. Oops, got fucking COVID. Not only that, Ela got COVID. Bruce got COVID. Our five-month-old. Theodore, I don't know how he didn't get it. It was a miracle, you know. Once we all started testing positive, we sent Theodore to stay with some family members. And um, he didn't get it. He didn't get COVID. I, I, I suspect he might have gotten it already because he's been pretty sick this year. Mm-hmm. Well, he's been at school with other kids and stuff. So. But how did we not catch it from him then? It's just, I don't know. I mean, how did... He's not vaccinated this, either. How, how was Ian the only one to catch it uh, a few weeks ago and everybody else got off scot-free, you know? Well, Time you, yeah. you could say we're I vaccinated. I lived with Cam for... Yeah. <laughs> I lived with Cam while he had COVID. Right. I didn't get it. 
Yes, yeah, <laughs> Sam too. I mean, Sam's a survivor, two-time survivor, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I think I'm immune. I don't know. You got that natural. We gotta harvest your blood and study it. Can I get some of your blood, Sam? I'm sorry. Can I get some of your blood? Yeah. Okay, dope. Yeah, sure. Fuck the vaccine. I just gonna shoot Sam's blood up in me. It's the blood of God. Get those antibodies. The blood of God. <laughs> yeah. The worst part. So I fell sick first, and I was super sick, man. The first night, it was just me sick. I was running a fever. I was delusional. I was taking a bunch of like NyQuil and all that like Tylenol fucking extra flu shit. And I also, I got to, I got to tell you guys, you got to be careful with those drugs. Those shit hit hard as fuck. I don't think you're supposed to mix those with some of the psychiatric medicine I take. Oh, <laughs> like Lexapro or Wellbutrin now. Interesting. And I was, like, not doing good, man. I was tripping balls, and then I started getting, like, anxiety like I haven't had in a while. I think it was those drugs interacting with my meds. So I stopped taking the, the that stuff, and I, I felt better. But, yeah, I got my ass kicked. So You know, it's so sick where you can't even really enjoy being sick. Mm-hmm. Usually when you're sick, you get to veg out. You play video games, you watch TV. You say, hey, you know what? Yes, I don't feel well, but everybody's got to fucking treat me like a baby. Right. Everybody feels bad for me. Everybody's got to do everything, everything for me. This and is I just sick. watched One Piece. And trust me, there's a thousand episodes of that shit. I ain't running out of nothing. <laughs> I'm on t- episode like 200, by the way. I don't know that one to be... It's be good. I'm not, Fun. I'm not weeb enough for, for One Piece. It's the most popular mango of all time. Is it really? Yeah, by far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deservedly so? It's dope, man. It's good? I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's fun. It's good. I like it a lot. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll try. You know what? I'm going to really try not to do that in the mic, guys. I'm a professional broadcaster, right? Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I was super sick and I was just kind of sitting there and I couldn't get comfortable. It was horrible. And then the next day, Ela got sick. And at the same time, shortly after that, Bruce got sick. Obviously he's not vaccinated. He's only five months old. The worst part about Ela getting sick, I was like, fuck, no, nobody's going to feel bad for me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> now Ela's sick now yeah. like i gotta take care of myself oh. and i gotta feel bad for her That's the real tragedy i was really hoping it would just be me and i could just enjoy my my moment mm-hmm. i could have a diva moment you know yeah stay down fuck you baby <laughs> <laughs> but no i didn't get that and then when bruce got sick then it was like okay we gotta we don't get to enjoy the luxury of being sick anymore even though we were both super sick. Because Bruce was running like 105 fever for three days straight. Oh, wow. God damn. And it was scary. It was scary. He was crying nonstop. He wouldn't sleep. He was just really, really, really messed up. And I was very, I was very scared, honestly. I was not, you know, we were calling the doctor. We couldn't, you can't go to the doctor because we all had COVID. Bruce had COVID. We swabbed his little nose and did a rapid test, and it came out positive. And we're like, oh, my God, dude. He got it really bad. I was so messed up. Anyway, but, you know, it was just three really long days of taking care of our baby. And it was just torture watching him be so, you know, in so much pain. I mean, it's fucked up, dude. Your your four to five month old getting COVID, you know, that's just fucked up. And the whole time I'm cursing that goddamn wedding, I'll tell you what. Um. Anyway, I'm just curious how David's doing through all this. Mm. It's been a hard time, you know, and I just really. Has yeah. anyone has he tweeted anything? Has he done anything? I haven't anything? seen anything. Uh, really. I can't imagine what he's going through. Though. David's just laying low. Yeah, crickets, bro. Well, you were hanging out with uh, what's his name, Alex? Alex. Did he didn't mention anything about no how's David doing? No, I don't. Huh. I haven't seen him around David in a while. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> I'm worried about him. Someone check on him. Yeah. 
yeah, he's the real victim of this situation. But, ah, uh, man, actually, a lot of people got COVID. The other, there was a other couple of friends of mine from college who got it. They showed up wearing masks because they have a newborn. They were the only two people wearing masks. They both got fucking COVID, Absolutely. and their newborn baby got COVID as well. Yeah, I and mean, what the fuck, dude? What's going on at this wedding? Nothing. It was all outdoors. Huh. I mean, we were having fun. We were drinking, but we were like outdoors and shit. I mean, there was lots of hugging and stuff. Yeah. Well. But the wedding was actually really nice. Like, it was nice to check in with like a lots of old buddies from college. It was pretty crazy to see some of the faces. Really was the nice. guy who waffle stomped the jizz in the shower there? The guy that waffle stomped the jizz in the, the story shower. story that you've told on the podcast like 10 times. Oh, the you guy that I goofed? I goofed on him. He didn't actually waffle stomp. But we did a prank on him. Maybe I'm confusing two stories. Didn't you have a roommate that all of his his, his goo would oh, always be in the, he, the drain? Yeah, he, he, was there. he was there. He was there. He got COVID, too. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. He got COVID and his wife got COVID. <laughs> I mean, this is a super spreader event, man. Yeah, it sounds like and it. And everyone there is vaccinated, too. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's the end game anymore with COVID. You know? It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I think it's just our new reality, unfortunately. And but it's this not, is it's not going away. But this is a fucked up illness, and it's so contagious. This is just what it's like. We're all just going to be getting COVID? I, it's hard to see. I mean, with half the country just completely saying, I don't give a fuck at this point. I mean, what, what hope do we really have? Of, we're not going to eradicate it. It's not going away. So no, no, what no, are you, no. What are you going to do? I don't know how. I just hope my immunity lasts. But I, got, I I avoided it for two years. I mean, yeah, it's a good run. It's a good run, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. It was horrible. It was honestly one of the worst weeks of my life, and it was so sad. Theodore had to go stay with my brother and sister in law, and he had fun with them. They went to Disneyland and stuff. They had a lot of fun, but. It was really hard being away from my son for a week, and he was missing us. And sure. oh god, it was just—it was just horrible. It really was. But Bruce is doing better. Everyone's doing fine. Everyone's, you know, Bruce made a full recovery. He's great. He's beautiful. He's happy. He's doing awesome. So everybody's fine, and uh, we pretty much got through got through it now. But man, that really sucked. And I hate missing the show, too. I mean, what, we missed a whole week. Mm -hmm. Yep. Of the damn show, you get banned, you get banned again, then you get COVID. <laughs> I mean, uh, we haven't done like a full month. Yeah, I know. Without interruption. It makes me anxious whenever we skip like that. Why? I feel like I like lose my groove. I want to stay in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I know what you mean. We got a groove going on here. Yeah. Uh, uh Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just hoping I didn't get brain damage or something. You know how they say long COVID and all this shit? Like, they go, oh, people get COVID, lose five IQ points. Whatever yeah, bullshit confirm. they're battling now. What, Ian? I can confirm that, yeah. And you've had it twice, so you probably lost 10 IQ points. Yeah. Yeah. I think it actually grows. I'm probably like 15. Like, it's exponential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, exponential brain it. damage. Yeah. yeah, I feel it. <laughs> oh, the other crazy thing. I lost my sense of smell completely. A hundred percent. And what was weird about it was my nose was super clear. Like my nasal passages were clear. I could breathe. I could not smell a fucking thing, bro. You could put a piece of shit under my nostrils. I couldn't smell it. And I was really afraid I was going to lose my sense of smell permanently because that's another thing you hear. I just saw somebody in the chat say after they got COVID, it took a year, full year for their uh, sense of smell to come back. It was so weird, and then obviously eating food is not really that fun when you have no sense of smell. Mm. Everything tastes just kind of fucking dull. But I'm happy to say my smell started to come back. Really? Okay. Not which good. was pretty fast, so I was actually yeah. really relieved uh, by that. And I'm hoping that, you know, it continues to come back, so that was another thing I was worried about. But yeah, I probably lost five IQ points. They go, oh, people get COVID are more likely to have uh, uh, dementia. Uh, 
uh, at an older age. It's like, fuck off, bro. Stop telling me that shit. How? You seen all that studies? They go, people who get COVID are more likely to fucking go impotent. <laughs> I feel like it hasn't been around long enough to do a study about that. <laughs> but maybe. I don't know, but you, you've seen that studies. It's all this shit. Like, people with COVID are more likely to turn into zombies during the apocalypse and eat the flesh of their fallen brothers. Right, yeah. Brain fog? That's another one I'm not trying to get. They go, oh, people with COVID have fucking brain fog. Shut the fuck up! Stop! Stop saying that shit! Put those studies away! Does that stuff bother you, Ian, when you read all that? Yeah. I kind of just accept it. Really? It, gets me, it makes me anxious. I get all obsessed about it. I go, did I do... Is that stuff happening to me? They obsess, anxiously obsess about it. Maybe I have some fog already. I don't know. But I'm not worried. I want fog! I want clarity! I want clear skies! People with COVID get foggy fucking brain damage. You know, there's all these negative effects from COVID, but, I mean, this isn't directly COVID, but the pandemic has brought some positives. Let's not forget. Face masks make people look more attractive. What do you guys think? I mean, I we're all getting hotter, baby. Well, of course I look more attractive. It's covering like 60% of my face. Yeah. <laughs> it's the bad part. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see myself. I probably do look pretty good. You know? Yeah. I look better for That's sure. Fact. For sure. How about now? Yeah, yeah I can't like... even see the double chin. It covers it up. Precisely. It's a lot of flesh. I think you're good. Extra flesh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I got respiratory damage though because my lungs are fucked up. Recent study finds COVID-19 was associated with an increased risk of being diagnosed with dementia six months after infection. What the fuck? I can't verify if that's a legitimate source. Where did you get it then? Uh, it's just one of the many uh, reports that came up associated with cognitive dysfunction. dementia. Six months? Is that for old people, or am I asking to go crazy any minute? This people 44 to 46. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm what sorry. What the fuck? You're not I'm sorry, wrong age. I forgot you're 35. I'm not in that age bracket. <laughs> dude. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I have brain frog fog. Yeah, who got COVID here? Whose brain's fogged over? <laughs> Old man. I got a nice gloss over my brain. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I got a nice glossy finish over my fucking brain. The stupid wedding that I never even wanted to go to. So there you have it. Mm. <sighs> yeah, it was horrible. But that's basically it. Um, well, this is me in the basement. Thanks, Cam. This is awesome. This was the vibe for sure, bro. <laughs> Except I was just in my underwear the whole time because I was hot. Yeah, we saw fuck. it. You posted that TikTok. Yeah. I'll, sh I'll sh pull this up for you guys. So this TikTok... I got it. I made this TikTok the night. It was the last night where I was the only one that was sick. And I was like, okay, you know what? It's just going to vibe out here. I'm losing my mind a little bit. Hey. Oh, I can't play the music. That sucks. But then, like, shortly after this, Ela got sick, Bruce got sick, and it wasn't fun anymore. Me having COVID plus cold medicine hallucinations. <laughs> and this Drake line. Yeah. I was trapped in the basement. People were leaving food for me on the stairs, like, and shit. I had to come out like a leper. Yeah. That's My how God. love did it for me. Oh, yeah? Love, yep. you were Cam's caretaker? Yep. I got uh, Ubu Eats from the streets up to him and Damn. all that stuff, yeah. Love. We yeah. got Taco Bell like five nights in a row. <laughs> That's the life. That's probably prolonging my. Hey, illness. I've never had it before. I got to juice up, dude. Yeah, Come on, I now. Get, I think oh, I went to the choice that did, time, but. Did you good. ever tell me what you were getting from Taco Bell? Uh, my favorite was the Chumpa Lumpas. The Chumpa Lumpa? <laughs> No, the chicken, one. Hey, chicken chalupa. Chicken chalupa. I love the way love says it. 
Chumpa Loompa. The Chumpa Loompa. The Chumpa Loompa. Me, is that a Charlie in the truck? Is that a uh, Willy Wonka dish? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some worms in there and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Me and Love are playing no. Fortnite. There's a daily bugle. He calls it the daily bugle. Bugle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Bugle. Bugle. Nah, but I, I'm a mastermind of Uber Eats, basically. I do the way so I get the most amount of food for the least amount of price or the least amount of money. Mm. Yeah, you minimize the delivery fee? Oh, yeah. So sometimes okay. uh, Cam can, uh, like, um, write for me. Or, like, he knows I did this. I bought, like, 50 tacos and I saved really? them for the entire week. Yeah. Did you, did you get the family yeah. packs? Because you get a family pack of taco for like 20 bucks or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or six, even less. It's insane. Yeah, and as long as you don't get the crunchy ones, you can microwave them. It's all good. Oh. Darn, damn. darn it. You darn are operating it. at a high level out here. What was? Shit. What did you call it? A shwampa lumpa? Shwampa lumpa? Uh, uh, I thought that was the name, but now I know it's chicken lumpa. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's Anyways. move on. You know, we're all doing better. It's fine. By the way, no sponsors today, so I would like to promote TeddyFresh.com. If you guys are in the market for some clothing, it's TeddyFresh.com. Look at all this good, 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 good stuff. I know it's summer, but man, this hoodie is so nice. This re reverse fleece hoodie. And... There's just a lot of really nice stuff on that website, guys. I don't know. I just found this website, guys. It's got really amazing clothes. I don't know who making it, but I just think it's so nice. T Martin? Yeah, I'm doing a T Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, guys, I just found this website, <laughs> teddyfresh.com. It's insane, dude. The clothes is so nice. And actually, I want to announce that we have a new drop coming out tomorrow. That's the shirt I'm wearing. It's a collaboration with the artist that Gila really loves named Gentle Thrills. Let me show this off for you guys. Oh, shit. That's great. It's all feed yeah. out. <laughs> oh, you got one too? Should nice. get a number on you. Uh, oh, yeah. What's up, babe? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There's this and a lot more. Let me show you. Yeah, so this comes out tomorrow at 10 a.m. PST. This cool shirt. Uh, this so this is actually crazy. We have five one of one custom shirts that is original by the artist, and they're being sold exclusively as an NFT. <laughs> no. Oh Let's no. Go. That's a funny idea, but no. <laughs> you get the actual shirt. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Is it, wait, it's a physical item? Yeah, it's a real shirt. You can wear it. Fuck wants you can touch it. That crypto shit. It's a lot cheaper than most NFTs, too, which is kind of crazy. Like, a lot cheaper. And oh, it's yeah. one of one. <laughs> so those are going up. I guess whoever's fastest gets them. They're really cool, man. I love these shirts. And then uh this is one shirt that we're making so the front says good bears go to heaven the back says oh they didn't show it bad bears go everywhere else mm -hmm. but i like it it's a good shirt hell yeah that's my shirt looking better on him than me obviously good bears go to heaven oh yeah and then also there's like a there's a bunch of custom tote bags that are one of one too. I don't know how many they made. There's not that many, like I don't know, thirty or some shit. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Um, cool. Yeah, it's fun. I love it. It's nice. Yeah, it's awesome. We might run some of these ones, uh, because I love them so much as like a mass production. But you'll get the original whoever buys it now which is obviously pretty sick <laughs> and there you have it teddyfresher.com okay thank you i don't know who i just found this website and i don't know who owns it but it's looking good like their work yeah so um moving on from that i actually have a segment about dan here and 
this is some top of the show stuff. You've seen these, Dan, I'm sure. They people say you look like everything. No, I've never seen any of those. <laughs> yes, you have. This is Dan. Um, I see it. Hmm. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Sort of marionette doll. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. You're not really the marionette though. You're the puppet master, aren't you? These are all from just like the last like ten days. Yeah. <laughs> this is a constant <laughs> thing. Dan makes Christian music. I see it. I see it. A little bit. Would you ever rock a hat like that, Dan? I mean, so it does something. It covers the whole dome. That's nice. If I'm not, you're insecure about that. I'm not I'm not Quaker, so. <laughs> oh, you think that's Quaker rock? That's Quaker rock. Quaker oats? Yeah. I like that. Oatmeal rock. They call it. <laughs> Love that. Dan is a good man. Oh, wow. This Swiss... <laughs> Swiss dog from the 15th century looks a lot like Dan. <laughs> I'm seeing it. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I'm really seeing it. Um, oh man! Great seeing Ethan and Dan let loose. Yeah, just, oh come I on, that, that yeah. that's that's out that's out of pocket. Yeah, no, I'm into it. Just because of the dome, probably, huh? Just because of the dome, and like, I mean, look at my hands relative <laughs> to yours. Your massive, like, beefy ass. Yeah, my hands are looking pretty good there. That's a pretty realistic ratio. Yeah, I agree. That's a good of you to point out. Never before seen picture of Dan. I mean, okay. That's just a rabbit with a beard, guys. Yeah, that's pushing a little bit. Dan is ready for the next boxing match. What is this? This guy looks nothing like Dan. <laughs> what the fuck? You have be- well, you guys have the same beautiful blue eyes. Uh, okay. I see Dan in him. You do? You do? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> He's a little more jacked than me. Slightly. Oh, yeah. When this guy has sex, these braids must get in the way. He's got to yeah, tie him back or something. Maybe huh? he ties him up Honestly. in like a knot above his head. <laughs> Unless his partner holds on to them, maybe. Oh. Come, come through. Handlebars. Yeah, but yeah. if he's on top and you imagine those braids just slapping, <laughs> slapping you in the around. face and sla- I have wet hair. It's like a rain. Though. What do you get? What do you ladies like think about that? I don't feel good about it. Yeah. Personally. No. I yeah. don't like it. Yeah, I wouldn't I like that. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come here. He probably ties him back, though, yeah. which isn't really that sexy to think about either. Like a hairnet made of hair. <laughs> but okay. Oh, now this looks like Dan. Oh, Jesus. Doug Clifford from who? Wait, what band? Creedence Kleinwater. Uh, Creedence Re- Kleinwater Revival. Resurrection. Yes. <laughs> Dude, he looks like Dan, Zach. What the fuck? Does fucking look like Dan. What does that mean? I don't know, dude. It's like Dan's favorite band. Too, so like, you know. Oh, absolutely, my favorite band. It's like fuck, dude. This dog looks like Dan, of course. Oh well, he's a cutie at least. There's that other dog. I don't know if it's included. In the the dog, black one. The looks one that so people post like all the you. time. That's so like much. fucking terrifying. So much like you. Demon dog. Can yeah, someone pull that up since we're on the topic? Like you though. With the know. smooth head. I don't know. It's my favorite. Yeah, I want to show the but but you know what? <laughs> oh yeah, here it is. Just one last one. This is the, this is everyone's favorite, the demon dog that looks like Dan. <laughs> why would you why would you do this to your poor dog? Do you love this animal or not? It's wait, the facial structure. Wait, why does it have a human ear? Yeah, that's edited. That can't be real. That ear doesn't make sense. That must be a version where Sorry. they they added on an ear. I don't think the original has that. The dogs don't have ear, human ears. <laughs> That's like Dolly Dan. <laughs> Dolly Dan? Like dog. Yeah. yeah. Salvador Dolly? No, I was a little <laughs> disturbing and. Yeah. I was skeptical at first, but I feel like these all kind of look like Dan. Holy shit. Wait, there's more. What the fuck? What, what the? I've never seen this one. What's with the ear, dude? No, what the fuck? Sorry? The dome I get, but why does it have ears? That's just not right. I, you know, I, I, I somebody I, said he thinks uh, Cam says it's a Snapchat filter. He thinks. Oh. Okay. Well, Dan, I, 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 I think it totally looks like you, man. No, it does. It yeah. definitely does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. At least its eyes aren't glowing like a fucking hellhound in that one. You mean this one? The original, yeah. yeah. Okay, that looks like you. <laughs> this one, I really see it. That's Dan, man. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're celebrating Dan. Um, we are happy to celebrate Dan. And um, yeah, I, I think we all see 
We all see the resemblance to Dan. Yeah. I think all of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you see it, Dan? Do you? For real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah. see it. Do you see yourself everywhere you go, or yeah, it's it's everywhere I look, I just can't. Sometimes I look in the mirror and I see Dan. Which yeah. Is weird. Me too. Yeah. Weirdly. Especially today. Dan is all. Just personally. Just, were were yeah. you guys wearing this earlier? No, I just dressed like this. Yeah, I just this was my fit. For Actually, here, let me take this off. I wear this like every day. This, I yeah. laid this yeah, out this. last night. Actually, it's Dan's fit five year anniversary we're celebrating. Woo! We've been here for five long years. Five Woo! fucking years. That's pretty incredible. Are you kidding me? And of course, we are all. We see a little Dan in all of us. Wait, something feels a little. Wait, will you hold on? Will you guys take your beanies off? Something oh, yeah. It feels off here. Yeah. It's a little warm. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, what happened, guys? Dude, what? We did the. We. <laughs> We did the uh, condom on your head challenge. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I think I know what this means, guys. The what transformation is, is happening. Mm. Oh, shit. This happens Not the transformation. Every, once every thousand years. No. Mm-hmm. I think we have to make our way to the Dan chamber. Not the Dan chamber. Every, everyone up. Everyone up. The Dan chamber? Yes. No. Oh. Could it be the bathroom that you all were hovering around all morning today? No. Oh, no. Okay. Come on, join us, Dan. Okay. Dan's going to sit right here, right? My yeah. Seat. Yeah, get him. Okay, sit, sit in my seat. This is the chamber of Dan. <laughs> Behold. I, I guess I should take this off since we're all doing the bald thing right now. Behold, the chamber of Dan. Today we give honor and praise to the great Dan Swerdlov, the wizard. He hath given us so much of himself over these five years. He has given us so much and asked for so little. Today we celebrate and potentially give COVID to Dan Swerdlov. Ed, would everyone like to share a word of their favorite Dan saying? Funger. 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 Danily. 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 <laughs> Dan, in honor of your five years of faithful servitude, you get COVID. <laughs> we present to you this five year oh, the Letterman. Letterman jacket. A Letterman windbreaker. Show it off. Wow. Oh, look at Woo! that. Bedazzled on the back. What an honor. And inside, oh. um, inside, there's a little something special there for you as well. And it's not, and I'll say it's not a gift card to Sharkies. Oh. Even better. I don't figure. <laughs> Bunger. 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 Bunger, 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 Stanley, Stanley, stop. You're firing me. No. Oh. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> Thank you for your order tickets. Oh. Box seats. Front row, baby. Let's go, Jamie XX. If Woo! Familiar. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm a fan. Like yeah, for sure. And like and it? caribou. Do you like yeah, caribou? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes. They're opening? Yes. Oh, that's fucking legit. Run Thank row, you. Baby. I give you a hug, but I, I'm yeah, a little afraid to right now. Wait, do we know what row they're in? It says okay. Garden Box 1. Yep, that's it, baby. Call. Shit. Call. 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 I play <laughs> Put two funkers up to Dan. <laughs> Five years of greatness. Five years of excellence. Wow. Five fungers up for Dan, actually. What an five honor. Years. Five fungers. Put five fungers in the air if you want it. 
And then I was, I was five like, fungers, right. I was like, wait, what's a five funger salute? Uh, uh oh, shit, no, not that one. <laughs> I was just wondering, what's a five funger salute? Yeah, I, okay. I have the soundbite, but I, I promised Dan I wouldn't play it anymore. Play it. What is it? Heil Hitler. Oh my God. Damn. The five funger salute. Wow. You know what else is a five funger salute? What? Just a normal salute. You didn't actually oh, have shit. to. Oh, yeah. well, shit. The, the thumb's not pointing, though. That's why I we mean, need... Your hand is, still has five fingers. You guys man. think this counts as a five finger? I'm just saying you didn't really. I was to... like, well, I want to put my five fingers out to you, and then you Well, just, just keep them open. Why do they get open, this? It's not bad. No, just... keep them open. Yeah, like this. Spread. I just don't go. know why they get this. It's like it's like a salute. You put your hand out. Why do they get that? Right. Whatever. Yeah. That's why we need you, Dan. You bring balance to the force. <laughs> Five long years, everybody, wow. give it up to Dan Spurlock. Five fungers that? for Dan. Well, thank you, thank you. I'm honored. I love the jacket. Uh, Dan made that shit, bro. I, I figured the the bedazzling kind of gave it away. She made the whole damn thing, though. Didn't really, you? the thank bedazzling? You, <laughs> the bedazzling. I only know queen. one person who bedazzles, so like at all. I only know one person. Good point. Who well, there you have it. <sighs> Everyone's putting five fungers in the air for Dan. I see that. Thank you. Thank you, everyone in the chat, for your kind words. By the way, can it get a shot of me? I don't <laughs> know if, if you can tell. You look fucking scary. It looks, just looked like you had a condom stretched over your head. You can't tell how wet my head is. The well future <laughs> makes me sweat like a fucking pig. I had to lower my dosage this morning because I can't do it anymore. I'm, I can't do it. The sweating is insane, and I'm not a sweaty person. I'm not. I'm Look not at this. Look at this. Guy. Look at this. I don't know if you can see. Jesus. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, no. I, I, Whoa, no, that was no it's fun. fucking ins It's like freak shit. It's well, insane. I mean, those ball caps look at, look, make you sweat a lot. Look at all the... Look, look how wet I am. Oh, my God. No, I never you're sweat. Flinging, you're flinging COVID virus off your head. Into the... <laughs> can you sweat COVID? I don't know. Thank you. I don't know. So Hopefully not. <laughs> it's disgusting. Theodore goes... He goes, I like non-sweaty daddy better. No way. Yeah, he said that to me. I was like, Why <laughs> no are you so wet, daddy? That. I said, I'm taking this new medicine that makes me sweat. He goes, I like non-sweating daddy better. He said, me too, buddy. Me too. So I'm lowering my doses in the hope that that helps. Because it's not a way, it's no way to live, god damn it. <laughs> well, there you go, Dan. Thank you again. Thank you again. Thank you. An honor. Dan. It's an honor to be a part of the show. And uh, here's to five more. Hopefully we won't get banned from YouTube by that by the time I come. For another five? Just just saying within the next five years. I'm sure we'll get a decent chance that we'll get. Right. But I don't know about banned. We're good. I hope not. As We're long good. as we have you, we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're here, we'll we'll survive. Does anyone want this um, sweat rack? It's pretty oh, wet. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I bet I could drip water off it. Not even kidding. I bet you I could produce a drip of water. Nobody's taking that bet. Okay. There you go. <sighs> All right. So we got a show to do here. What else we got? Okay. So speaking of COVID stuff, these guys keep it classy. The Quartering and Keemstar were both t making fun of me for having COVID. I don't think I would ever stoop that low, do you? I don't think so. Look at this one, dude. This shit's nuts, bro. Dude straight up did Simpson celebrating gif. I said, I tested positive for COVID. And this motherfucker goes, we're Ray. all celebrate. What? Dumb. Dumb. Of course it doesn't upset me, but I'm just like, I, I, I can't believe that someone would be well, people are, will not. say that because we have uh, talked to, at length about <laughs> people dying of COVID. Uh, Didn't celebrate anyone dying of yeah, COVID. Yeah, not really celebrate, but like, you know, we did like that Herman Cain award thing. But, I mean, I think... More that, ironic I, deaths, isn't it? It's like right, a exactly. Darwin Award death. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it's really Herman Cain Awards is really just a Darwin Award. That's it. Right. <laughs> you know? But just straight up, no context, just Simpsons. Yay! Oh, here, I guess they're all cheering and Bart is sad. Yes. It's fucking awesome, bro. Shout out Cordoran. Legend to the end. 
Um, Poor. I said, oh, and then he, re it's funny, he was responding uh, to the same tweet. He said, thank goodness you were vaccinated and double boosted. I don't know how many fucking times it needs to be explained to you. Why do you still pretend like you don't understand how this works? <laughs> it, it, it lowers the severity, bro. You know, if I wasn't vaccinated, double boosted, I'd be really scared. Sure. And I was sick. You okay. know, I'd be like, fuck, dude, there's like a chance I'm going to die from this. But I didn't have those thoughts because I knew I was vaccinated and double boosted. And it's pretty incredible that even now you still don't understand that you're that willfully ignorant or just outright dumb that you would actually think that was a good thing to tweet. I'm shitting my pants. It's pretty incredible take. Um, and then I, I, I guess maybe he felt bad after celebrating me being sick. Uh oh. And really, my wife and child being sick too. All you don't even have to think about it. Memes aside, I hope you feel better. No joke. COVID sucks. Well, thank you, but still, fuck you, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Dumbass. Also spreading COVID misinfo, you dumb fucking oafish bitch. Fucking claw machine operating freak. Hey, dude. Okay. Hey, dude, don't ask for my son's address to send him candy and prizes. I'm not giving it to you. You know, like on his claw machine channel? Yeah. Thank you. Right. <coughs> You're going to have some bad apples in that bunch. Yeah, no kidding, bro. Keemstar, of course, coming out. I love that they all have to comment on it, you know? One like equal one prayer. Uh, he posted... Uh, if you scroll down the bigger images. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I tested positive, blah, blah, blah. And then Keemstar tweeted out this other article. Coronavirus attacks fat tissue, scientists find. I thought this one was pretty funny, actually. I didn't have a problem with this one. Terrorist. 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 <coughs> you know, he's just calling me fat, and that's fine. I get it. Keemstar was like fat as fuck like five months ago, though. And now all of a sudden he like hates fat people. Isn't that funny? Um, what is this? H3H3 H3 fans trying to get my YouTube ban because I prayed for his speedy recovery. Sure. Keem's fly, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah. Why even like post it? It's like your fans... Don't believe that you don't believe that nobody reading it believes it it's just no, no like who, who is that for i think it's like it's it's like no i, I don't think keemstar is a white nationalist but they they do that same <laughs> shit where they go like uh it's like plausible deniability and you're giving a wink to all the other people you know it's yeah. like the insider thing i guess i don't i'm not saying he is a white nationalist Although, he, I wouldn't be surprised if he was. What does he have to say about it, Zach? <laughs> Keemstar? Keemstar? Zach? Keemstar? Keemstar hates the Jews. Oh, okay. Well, that maybe. Mm, that's, on, that's on the nose. Yeah. Death to all Jews. Oh. That's, that's really on the nose. Yeah. Do you think I hate Jewish people? I want to know. Okay, that's three separate sound bites now. Yeah. Starting to recognize a pattern here. So, I hate the Jews? Four different sound bites now. <laughs> there's there's five. clearly something going on. There's enough. Millions of Jews. <laughs> Six different sound bites. One for every millions of Jews that died. <laughs> then you got him talking about... Uh... I'm basically Hitler. Oh, yeah, right, right. Mm. And now I'm Hitler. Oh, my God. So what is that? Okay. It's really stacking seven, up, dude. Yeah. Seven, eight, something like that. But anyway, this one per this round one person goes, "Hi, YouTube drama alert uh, channel uh, host Keemstar just posted this poll to see how many people would wish another one of the creators severely ill." There was no poll, right? I think they just meant the yeah. I, I think the one like one prayer. Yeah. Yes, exactly. They just being straight up nasty. As a premium member, I hope you you need to keep coming. Uh, I can't read, but. Whatever. It's just some zero like post. And then he's like, This H3 fans are trying to ruin my fucking life, bro. Most evil fan base. How did he how did he even find that? <coughs> he's reading his replies, which is kind of psycho to begin with. 63 replies. He reads them all. Fair enough. Yeah. 
Oh God, he's still going? Death to all Jews was a meme from PewDiePie. Everyone at the time understood this. Yo, dude, hell nah. Nice try rewriting history. What happened to I? He didn't. First of all, he goes, I never said that. And right. then he goes, e dude, let's remember the context. You told while you were live streaming all your followers to go to Ethan Klein on Twitter and tell him death to all Jews. Death to all Jews. After shit talking to you for about a good half hour. <laughs> yeah, that's not a fucking PewDiePie death name, dude. Death to all Jews. Holy shit. The fact that Ethan Klein and his fans keep taking this out of context is disgusting. Oh, shut up, you dumb bitch. Yeah, last year we had future technology to make up the soundbite. Were those, <coughs> were those recent tweets? Is yeah. he like still talking about Yeah, this that? is just, yeah, this is sure. from this month or June. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of crazy because like, I read this, his original tweet and I was like, that's funny, you know. I'm not even mad, but then he's got to keep going and all this crazy ass shit. <laughs> Oh, I see. I didn't even know he did this about the Jordan Peterson one. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? Disgusting. Oh, my God. He's even jumping on the ch the uh, exercises. I'm just bad gonna be honest. Train. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just going to be honest. Life's too short. He tweeted this out. It's like a two, 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 one, not even one second long. Disgusting. Bro, you're so desperate. What the fuck? That's just stupid. Fitness guru. Yeah. Team star. <laughs> disgusting he just saw that there's lots of people sharing this clip so he's like oh shit there must be something here actually you know funny enough i don't know if you guys know who this guy greek god x is but he got i i was in my basement dying of covid and this guy starts tweeting me out of nowhere do you find that ab he's used to be a twitch streamer okay. or he got uh he just got banned like uh, yeah, last week or something. For hit that crazy misogynistic rant, which we should watch that too. But he used to be friends with, I don't know, a bunch of, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know anything about the guy except that he I mean, lost. He, he's known as a legend. I don't know. He's gone off the deep end <laughs> completely on the past half year. It's super weird. So you see, my campaign against exercise might be onto something. Because if this is your brain on exercise, <laughs> then I think we all need to lay the fuck off. I'm sorry, Ethan, you said he tweeted at you? He tagged me. He tagged you? And I responded, so it okay. should just be in my feed. Okay. Um, Money, Ethan! <laughs> but I love this clip of the, um, the exercise gag that somehow was turned into a thing. So, I was just in my basement dying of COVID. And this motherfucker starts tweeting at me that I'm a disgusting, vile piece of shit because I joked that exercise is a waste of time. Oh my God. I, I just peed in my basement. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, so this is why Kim starts tweeting out this clip. Very weird. He goes, he tags me too, right? He's looking for the smoke. He says, when A. Shreesh said this, I lost all respect for him. Just kidding. I never had any respect for him in the first place. What a bad example for humanity. Watch this shit. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just going to be honest. There are so many better things to do than exercise. We have Why does this trigger time people on this so much? earth. Like, this is, it's kind of surprising to me. You can hear people laughing in the It's, it's very clear that you're joking. But even if you're not, it's like, not that why are you so of... insecure that you, this is like so upset it's like if you enjoy exercising great you're I'm not trying to ban gym yeah i'm just giving an opinion but i think people are so desperate to try to fucking get me on anything i mean keemstar it's not like bro you're a fat fuck bro <laughs> you eat syrup and with a fork you freak <laughs> like bitch we don't remember what the fuck you do shut up about <laughs> exercise yeah, running in the force for a dollar. Okay, bitch. <laughs> the only running you down is... Well, he did lose a lot of weight, but I'm just saying. Shut up. Lipo. Yeah. Lipo, you think? That's a good rumor to start. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not basing that on anything other than he doesn't seem like the type that would be motivated to actually put in the work to lose that much weight. And it happened really fast. Okay, and He bitch. probably got a lipo. There's some evidence to support that, Dan. There I'm is. busted. Anyway, I uh, responded, and of course he didn't. He didn't want any smoke. But I'm sitting here minding my own fucking basement, dying of COVID, and this fucking goon starts tweeting at me. What a bad example for humanity. So wait, let me see what I've said. 
by the way, just shout out to all the mass shootings on July 4th. Shout out. It's awesome, huh? It's awesome shit. Oh, here. I said, it's called a joke, you silly bitch, dude. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? We pre- pre- This isn't even like an offensive joke. I said, also, didn't you just get banned from Twitch for saying essentially that women are slaves? Well, get the fuck out, weirdo, dork-ass loser. <laughs> Here's the clip, by the way, that just, he just got banned for. So get a load of this fucking piece of shit, Greek God X. What a loser, dude. He's literally, and by the way, he's a fit, this guy's an actual fan of Cobra Tate. Like, <laughs> I went on his feed, I was like, this is some Cobra Tate shit. <coughs> Straight up Cobra Tate memes on his feed right now. Watch this. And this goes to any women, women who want to date me, especially female streamers that want to date me. Female. Okay. If you want to date me, you better believe I will be the, even if you're streaming, you're going to have to stop streaming. Streaming is ended for you. Your career is done. Okay. I will stream while you cook for me and you clean for me and you look after the children while I gain all the money. And I give it to you and I give it to our children for a healthy, secure life. Okay? That's how I want to run my life. Okay? That's my life that I want to do it. Now, it's up to you and other people in their other worlds, whatever they want to do. But my reality, I'm going to sit here, earn all the money. You're going to be in the kitchen cooking. Why are you already angry at your hypothetical wife that doesn't even exist, you (laughs) loser ass dork fucking loser bitch? (laughs) He's like, I'm already pissed at you. You're already doing everything wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a loser, bro. What a catch this guy is, though, right? I mean, oh, yeah. The ladies, the, his DMs must be packed. Yeah, dude. This is, this is awesome. After man. this. To all of the women lining up to date me, okay? <laughs> you do nothing. You quit your job. I give you money. I own you. Cleaning and making sure my home is fucking clean. Home. And I'm going to make sure we have money so we can have a home and you have a place to sleep at night. Okay, because it's called work. Bro, are you a caveman having a place to sleep at night? Like, what is this fucking you, 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 people looking for shelter? It's not. We're not in the apocalypse yet, dude. We're not. The shelter is not that big of a fucking deal for most people. <laughs> <laughs> we most of us have shelter, bro. It's not that good of a proposition. Working together, okay. All right, <laughs> okay. Because streaming, I believe it or not, is mentally damaging to my mind. No shit. Bro. Oh, what? No shit. Oh. So, Love, what do you make of this? Because you said this guy used to be a legend. Um, I want to make it very clear, because I said this on Twitter too, and people got butthurt over me. I wasn't defending him. I was just saying in the past, I mean, he, he's been a really good streamer and like an iconic streamer and everything. Uh, but lately, I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, he's known for losing like a bunch of weight. He used to be like giant and he lost a lot of weight and... Uh, uh, lately, when he went back to his country from America, <laughs> everyone, or he just lost, lost touch with everything, and he got he's like mean to his friends, his streaming friends, and no one knows why. Uh, I feel like he's he's on. Not some, okay. I mean, I think he's on steroids. First of all, because my gut reaction is that something is not right. I know I shouldn't like delve into anything too deep, but something isn't right. I'm <clears> almost <throat> like a little bit worried that something has happened or going to happen or anything like that. Mm. Uh, I think, but, uh, oh, yeah. I think, like, look at this. All of his tweets are pretty crazy. Paying to see girl naked equal beta cuck who will never find real love. It's all like alpha shit. So many overweight beta males who talk shit on Twitter. No matter what you do, no one wants to breed with you. Go to the gym, bro. Nobody yeah. breeding. Breeding. What? Does he have kids? This motherfucker named breeding. Does he have kids? Hell no. Then what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Sex. That's pretty fucking beta. You don't even have any kids. By the Sex. way, this you is don't the, even have a girlfriend. Oh yeah, he liked this or retweeted it or retweeted. something. I see no difference. Cobra Tate. Cool. By the way, I see a difference. Cobra <laughs> Tate has money, <laughs> and your ass doesn't. But also, he's a sex trafficker, right? And so, I'm not sure that that's someone to look. You know. I just want to point out that he claims that the reason he got banned was for something else. He said he was twerking on stream and. <laughs> That was Working. the final straw. Yeah, because he's Whatever. been banned in the past couple other times. Whatever. I don't care what he got banned for. Yeah. The the video speaks for itself. Right. You know he's unbanned, I mean? by the way. But I found it interesting he didn't respond to me because he tagged me and he wanted the heat. And so I gave it to him and then he bitched out. Yeah. I mean, that's cock. That's beta shit. He bitched out. <laughs> he said, yo, tag Ethan, talk some shit, 
And then when Ethan comes over the top and dunks on you like the beta bitch you are, I just cucked you, dude. I just cucked you, dear mom, bro. I just fucked your mom and you watched and cried, bro. Because that's what betas do. I, I sucked all the testosterone out of your fucking tits, bro, like a, like a starving calf. And you were left, no testosterone, bitch, crawling on the floor like a withered old fucking raisin. <laughs> and you didn't even respond to me, dude. What's up with that? You're such a little bitch. That's beta shit, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you have no testosterone. He's talking about, he's talking about you know, the, the woman of his dreams that he doesn't have. He's talking about, you know, beta cucks and breeding. He doesn't have any kids. You know, he talks about how alpha he is, but he needs his wife to cook and like clean for you. Like, aren't, aren't you successful? Like, hire some help at the house. Like, you need, your, you need a wife to cook for you? You don't have enough money to pay for a maid? What are you doing, dude? Pathetic. But he's also not drinking his bubble water. A bubble water. Are you drinking your bubble <laughs> hey, water? Flat water. You yeah. fucking idiot. Bubble water. Well, Cobra Tate said it. Who fucking cooks? Get a fucking five dollar chicken from Costco and eat that shit down, you loser bitch. Yeah. Beta <laughs> behavior. This guy goes, Holy shit, so many Twitch streamers leeching off my success. Lol. Bro, at this point, Bam. I'm gonna need to give out I'm gonna go live to give them clips to watch. Um how many people are watching him right now? Is he well, I think they were all reacting to that clip. Oh, you're asking currently. Let's see. Yeah, I mean. Probably around 10K. Okay. He's a big streamer. Very, very big. Really? Because I have 40,000. What does that mean? It means he's a beta <laughs> and he's fucking sucking my nuts right now. Definitely. He's, he's not alive right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. You're, you, you, you didn't respond, man. What's with that? Hmm. You know, here he is, Cobra Tate. This is just July 1st. This just happened. So, oh, and then he got all religious too, which is always a bad sign. With peace and love to our Christians, but you know how I feel about that. Is you just, your brain goes to rot and too much Jesus. No, this is <laughs> okay. Yo, he got Jesus. That's crazy, bro. I don't know if that was a joke or not because someone photoshopped the Bible there. With his logo. He goes, it's actually sad to see so many girls sell their bodies for money. There's more to life than that. <laughs> like being my domestic servant. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. What do you mean there's more to life than that? Your life sounds, your, your dream life for your wife sounds way worse. Why wouldn't they want to be independently wealthy and actually want to, then they can go hook up with someone they actually like. They get to pick the guys that they like. And also, of course, he's a Trump fan. Trump was a way better president. I'm so confused on why anyone would vote Sleepy Joe. Trump is a walking W. So there you have it. Greek God X, you're a pussy. You're a bitch. You cowered away from me. You cowered away from me when you tweeted at me. He fucking my mouth. I'm going to. And that's okay. how I feel about that. I'm going to keep fucking your mouth, bro. Like, like uh, Chris Rock. Case closed. Greek got X. Hell no. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We're here. We're out here. It's off the rails. July 6th. Also, I met, forgot to mention, not only did I have the worst birthday ever, I caught COVID on my birthday. I had the worst July 4th ever. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. I've done nothing to celebrate my birthday. I turned 37, not 40, by the way, before you guys can say it. And I would I, never say that. I, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> so there was that. Mm. Hey, we had a really good um, falling off the stage update. We're connoisseurs of, of performers falling off the stage. And there was a really good one that dropped. Cardi. Playboy Cardi? What's he do? You guys fans of the Playboy? He has a few good songs. Yeah. He was on Kanye's recent album too. He was that guy that um, on the, the stream in Florida, he was like just screaming into the mic with all the face paint on. You remember that? Mm -mm. Mm. But I will say this tweet has 300,000 likes and 11 million views. So let's see it, guys. Let's enjoy this moment. Dude, just, oh, let's go, <laughs> right now, dude. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm so interested in this. I mean, it seems to happen so often where these performers just... Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, though, don't you think? Yeah, it's solid. Yeah. I wonder if he got hurt. It didn't look like it. it seems There's another painful. angle where he, you see that he just gets right. He pops so up. We were oh, another angle? Nice. We were debating this. I felt like the recovery was pretty flawless considering. Dude, it looked, he fell off the stage very gracefully. Now, I haven't seen this uh, right. angle. So the recovery is pretty, it's pretty <laughs> good. Let's see. Jesus, work on your camera work. Okay, dude, he's fine. Yeah. Like, that was a great recovery, right? <laughs> totally. He meant to do that shit. Like, boom. It's like he's jerk dancing, you know? He's getting up. But I'll tell you what. You fall off a stage backwards, that's like a five-foot drop. That's terrifying. I would definitely break my ankle or some shit. <laughs> no, he, he's a straight-up, I mean, legend. Okay, shout out Playboy Cardi. Falling gracefully. Good <laughs> lord. That's, of course, Kelsey Grammer. One of my favorites. <sighs> one of the best. Yeah, one of the best. So that's an exciting update. Um... What else we got? Is it sport? How was everyone's 4th of July? You guys do anything fun? Anybody? It, it was fun. Yeah. I hang out with Alex Ernst. Just family get together. It was nice. Quiet. You guys are like so. best friends now? What's going on with that? We, we, we trauma bonded over the creator clash. We, we he didn't get a trauma. He beat the shit out of that. No, I guy. mean like prior to the fight we talked oh, about. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, you guys are homies. Yeah. So you got invited to the family cookout? Yeah. And it was just his family? It was his girlfriend's family. Very sweet people. You went to his girlfriend's family? That's like a that's like a huge invite, bro. Mm -hmm. That's like real friendship. We're in there. What the hell? Are you guys best friends now? We're buds. I mean, we I we don't have uh, a lot of friends out here besides the crew, so <laughs> Was it a pity invite? No. I don't. I hope not. <laughs> it sounds no, like Alex, it. Alex really likes said. AB. I, no, we, we, during the whole lead up to the boxing match, uh, he was reaching out to AB all the time. Yeah. And, you know. But an invite to this girlfriend's. I agree. Family, it's pretty personal. That is personal. And you, were, there was no other. It wasn't like a gathering, right? No, like, I was the only. I was the only pal there. Okay. Well, that's man. personal, bro. Good did you did you ever be like, yo, we don't have plans for fourth. We don't know what to <laughs> no, do. No, I definitely didn't. Mm. Did you bring something? I did. What'd you bring? Potluck? Uh, so we brought. We didn't know what to bring, so we just brought a bunch of alcohol because we don't, we don't know what's standard. So. What kind of booze did you bring? I don't even know everything we got. I know they like wine. We got some random wine. Okay. You guys turn up? No. Just. No, you guys don't drink ever, right? You keep We're it. We're goody goody. Yeah. Just trying to be good guys. That's interesting. You guys brought alcohol and you don't drink. It happens. <laughs> That's very interesting. But okay. And how was the food? You guys do a little cookout, some burgers and dog. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Did they light shit on fire? No fireworks. No. No We're fireworks. Responsible. Yeah. Hmm. A B. Everybody. A B. Moving up. He's in with the vlog squad. <laughs> I he's, wouldn't really. He's in. I wouldn't say. I think it's more that we're stealing Alex from the. <laughs> well, I, 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 you know, I followed Alex because I, I found like he is friends with AB. Maybe he's warming up to us, and he's like the he's like not problematic at all. Member of the vlog squad, but he doesn't follow me. He just likes AB. He does. He doesn't follow anyone. Not, he only follows. Oh, he doesn't follow. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, okay. I was offended. <laughs> I took it personally. <laughs> no, he's really nice. Do you think he wants to be friends with any of us, other of us, or just you? He, I think he just wants to be friends with everyone. He, he does. just doesn't Ethan, want to be involved in it. Ethan's kind of in the market for a best friend after he yeah, out with Jeff. That's, so. Yeah, things fell through. I'm looking for a new. Are you feeling a little jealous? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little. No, it makes sense. I'm prying a little bit here. Yeah. I mean, well, you, we, we're working on Mike now, right? We're, we're, making, we're, we're, we're working very hard to find your new best. <laughs> well, what, what were you doing, Zach? On the fourth, yeah, we went to uh, Chantal's family, and so you wouldn't even invite his ass to Chantal, and you guys are like besties. But yeah, Alex is inviting AB to his girlfriend's. Do <laughs> you just see what I'm saying? It's it's out the there. intimacy level is crazy. But maybe they're closer than we think. I don't know. Maybe I, this is the first time you met. Must uh, be Alex's girlfriend. No, I've been in their house before. <laughs> yeah, sleep, have you slept over there? Before? I was just you guys gonna ask. sleep over. No, we play so. Guitar Hero, but I didn't sleep over. Okay, I'm just curious. Guitar Hero is pretty mega bonding. Yeah. So. Interesting. Well, we love Alex, don't we? 
Shout out Alex. Trying to moving kind of fast. So one of my guys maybe needs to slow the pace a little bit. He didn't ask me permission. <laughs> you know, is there someone you? Forgot <laughs> it's that to mean, ask? Yeah, I consented. I consented. <laughs> There's someone you forgot to ask. Next hangout, AB, you got to invite Ethan. That's that's how it's gonna be from now on. Got to invite. Yeah, yeah, or at least ask for permission. Mm-hmm. I'll Facetime you when I'm there. Be like, <laughs> That'd be nice. That'd be checking nice. on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking after you. I just say, take care of my boy, man. Hmm. Somebody said Greek god L. I like that. Mm. He's a giant <laughs> fucking loser. Wow. Dunked. Lena, did you have fun at, at uh, over there? On, yeah. yeah, I did. Yeah, I mean, they were so time. sweet, both of them, Alex and his girlfriend. Well, must be nice. Must be nice. Yeah, it must. It be was really, really nice. nice. <laughs> yeah. <It's> awesome. <laughs> did there was there halal food for you guys? Or you don't eat halal, do you? Uh, no, I, I just don't eat pork. But I just love it. Yeah. They have like ribs or. <laughs> yeah, what do they cook? <laughs> Next time I'll take a bunch of photos. <laughs> I'll document it. I'll vlog it. You don't remember what you ate? Come on. Uh, I, Alex made a chicken buffalo dip. What kind of. It was oh, delicious. Wait, what kind of buffalo bar- dip? Just a buffalo oh. dip? What kind of barbecue sauce is that family? Oh, yeah. Are they like kind of Sweet Baby Rays? Uh, yeah. Are they they rocking something else? Yeah, I think it was Sweet Baby Rays. Was it Sweet yeah. Baby Rays? Sweet Baby Rays mm-hmm. is their game. Okay. So, so do they have like they had a buffalo dip? What else? That's yeah, what, what is the main course? A dip's not a main course. It's just the apps on the fourth. Did you have a, a hamburger? Yeah, hamburger, okay, hot so dogs. Yeah. What yeah, kind of seasoning? Why are you being Mini shy about the burger? Yeah, why are you being shy? What kind of was the burger not good? Was it dry? <laughs> Do you, don't right, want to, right. you don't want to offend it. Alec. You guys are joking. Football, I'm football. serious. What kind of seasoning? They use Lari's on that burger? Or was it like a Dano's? Like... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. They're lovely people. It was they are. Time. They grill better than us? <laughs> don't say that. That can't be true. I grill like a monster. This girl. guy is the grill king. Don't say that. Is he good at He's getting who, quiet. Okay, let me ask you this. He who got really grilled? quiet. Who grilled? Did Alex grill? Did Alex grill or was it her dad or what? I'd rather not comment on that. What? I, I'm kidding. I didn't, I'm kidding. By the time we got there, the food was done. Okay. All right. All right. So, like, did you talk to the, the dad? Zach, what did you do? Did you talk to Sean? I got, I got, did you talk to I her got, dad? Did you, yes, I did. did you but talk that's what my you do to her? That's my. Oh. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good throwback. That's a good throwback. I got, I got rip shit, dude. I, I got pretty, uh, pretty schwasty. Nice. Yeah. Schwasty, huh? All right. All right. Um, was Jeff's dad there though, or was it just his girlfriend's dad? His name is Alex. Alex. Not Jeff. Uh, Alex. Um, but oddly enough, Jeff Whittick's dad was there. Jeff Whittick? No, <laughs> Alex. Yeah, I'm bit, that's not my besties. Wait, was Alex's dad there, or were they off doing their own thing? No, no. Alex's family lives out of state. Oh, they live out of state. Okay. Wait, but I thought you went to the family house. It's his girlfriend's family. No, girlfriend's oh, family. Okay. It was Keep girlfriend's up. family. You know, family. thank God we are actually close because this would be super fucking weird. Why? <laughs> if we were. <laughs> you didn't say These are standard questions about yeah, the real. These are conversations that happen off camera. What was their bathroom like? <laughs> it was nice. Did they have the nice. Kirkland 2 ply or, you know, mm. or, the, or the good shit? Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. You guys were probably in the backyard, right? Mm-hmm. And there's a point where you need to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. So you ask one of them, can I go to the bathroom? And then did they lead you in like some kind of weird maze through their house to get to the bathroom? Tell me about the experience. Right. Or was it just like a <laughs> it's just uh, second door on the left? Well, I, I, I've been there before. Um, oh, okay. What? You've yeah. been to his well, girlfriend's house before? Yeah. Ooh, they, they, go ahead, Lena. Yeah, go ahead, Lena. Because that was my first time there. And yeah, I had to use the restroom and they just told me where to go. They didn't have to walk me there. They went like second, what what'd they say? Like, you know, second door on the left or whatever, one of those. Like, what's Something the like, that, like what's yeah. the layout of the house? Like, <laughs> like what's the address? Did they have, de- <laughs> hold on. Did they have That's decorative good. soaps, Lena? The decorative soaps? Yeah, they're like, they're soaps that look cute, but you're not supposed to use them. In the shape of a I duck. I don't recall. It no, nothing stood soap. out to I me have like a question. It just looked like a Was it bar soap restroom. or was it pump? <laughs> I have a question. Did they have a communal towel? Hmm. Probably. Okay. Communal towel. That's a big It's a, it's big a good move. call. Let it's me ask call. you this. Yeah. Let, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me ask you this. When you dried your hands, was the towel wet or dry? Mm. There was a guy in a tuxedo mm. in the bathroom. Yeah. We're like, being serious like, right now, sure. And he dried my hands. With the I communal know. towel. Yeah, and I felt bad I didn't have any change to tip him. Lena, uh, do you recall you the dampness the of the guy? towel? I know. 
I wasn't expecting I, I don't. Uh, it's there, there was nothing weird that stood out to me. It was, okay. it was like there I was using it. my own bathroom. Okay. Did you sneak into any rooms? <laughs> I did not. All right, all right, all right. Enough, enough. I enough. did an Do they have central air or is it like a window unit? No, no, no. Enough, <laughs> guys. Come on. We don't want to pry into their privacy in their private life. It? God forbid. <laughs> it's inappropriate. <laughs> Wait, I have an actually, I, I have a legit question that is important when uh-huh. it comes to a grill. Is uh-huh. it charcoal or gas? I the food was made by the time I got there, so you know you gotta ask. You know what? I mean, did gas? you taste it? You can taste. You it. can yeah, taste the charcoal, bro. Was it charcoal or gas? You need to answer. I don't, I'm not sure. Lena, do you I know, know if it was call. charcoal don't or gas? That, Lena. No, because I didn't have the hamburgers or hot dogs. Oh, okay. Okay. Did, you did, pass. did they spray Pam on the grill <laughs> before they started? All right, guys, come on. This is too much. Just stop. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So how many people were there? <laughs> <laughs> Approximately. I'm just kidding. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. But that's nice. That's nice. You had a good. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's really cool, man. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't do anything. You had back out of front. I didn't do anything, AB. You didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't do anything. I thought. Uh, yeah. Were you trying to get an invite, Dan? I don't know. I just said I didn't do anything on the fourth. So. Mm. It would have been. Where was where was my invite to the soccer game last week? Yeah, I did invite you. I invited everybody in the office. You probably did. I didn't yeah, get I did. invited. Well, you wouldn't have gone. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know. I'm just your, kidding. Like, I'm I, just kidding. I know no. you well enough. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. In fact, I did you a favor by not asking and putting you in a <laughs> position to have. Hundred percent. Yeah. No, you, you're total. You're hundred percent right. All right, let's move on. Thank you, everybody. I'm glad everyone had a happy fourth. We actually have a little segment here about the fourth. Firework disasters. Do you think I'm going to get in trouble for showing any of this? Are we going to get busted? Like, well, Philly showed the first one, so you Philly think that I show speed one is fine? I mean, so it's not age restricted, yeah. uh, which is surprising because that it's is pretty surprising. Insane. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, it's an amazing clip. Maybe I so I'd, I'd like to show it, but if you want to play it safe, it might be best to just skip. Yeah, I know YouTube. They they get all crazy about dangerous acts. This guy lo- lit a firework in his room this is the firework if you want to show it well, i'll show i'll show like a still of it maybe i mean here <laughs> and well, what really like i guess it's funny whatever he it was all live so it was like oh awesome you know epic <laughs> but what really sucks is that the fire department had to come yeah and <laughs> check it out when that really actually is really fucking lame look at this because <laughs> Obviously, that's a big day for them, and I'm sure there's more important things to be doing. But uh, that happened. That was a pretty viral thing. Did he get in trouble for that? I was thinking you two might. I was imagining he would get a strike. Definitely. At least for dangerous acts or whatever. For sure. Yeah, I didn't hear anything yet. I was looking for that specifically. I didn't. Not confirmed. Oh, so this is the Pikachu firework he went off in his room? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. It looks so small in this. Uh, it gets more intense. But I mean, in a small room. Yeah. <laughs> On a bed. Next yeah, to no, a bo- that's, next that's to a, a box lot. of fireworks, by that, the way. And that's a lot in a tiny room with fire, sheets and everywhere. Fire. Yo, where do you get Pokemon fireworks? This is kind of sick. Flame of fire is going to come out that butthole. <laughs> yeah, baby. Happy 4th of July. Woo-hoo. Nothing is on fire, I repeat. Nothing is on fire. <laughs> Yeah, man. We used to have the best 4th of July fires when I was a kid. We'd throw bangers, bro, and get, like, mad fireworks from Ojai. Mm. So dope. In Ojai? We had to, you had to drive hella far to get fireworks because they were legal in Ventura County. What the hell? Why would they say in Ojai, though? That's, like, wildfire central. It's, it's like, the worst place you Well, can I don't know that they're... They, they, you just... Once you enter... This city, yeah. there's just stalls of firework sellers right. on the side of the street. And everybody from Ventura County and around where it's illegal goes there and buys the fireworks gotcha. and then comes back. The, the one I went to when I was out there was called Phantom Fireworks. Oh, they used to sell on the side of the road there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know the name. They were all just generic looking as fuck. There's a bunch of Phantom Fireworks in Michigan. Man, they had a crazy selection of shit, though. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I hope everyone had a good 4th of July. Wasn't much to celebrate, in my opinion, considering there was two mass shootings yeah. on 4th of July. That was why, as I, I had an invite to go to a 
backyard barbecue party or whatever. I thought about it. And I was just like, kind of, kind of fuck America right now. I don't know. I don't really feel. What like are we celebrating about. exactly? Like, why, why am I gonna go fucking act like everything's okay right now? Dude, America was a mistake. That's what the. Fuck <laughs> I mean. So, I just decided to take it easy. Yeah. So there, you guys, I'm sure all saw or heard. There was a horrific mass shooting in a small town by a MAGA, a MAGA kid, 22 years old. Pretty sure it was a AR. It sounded like it in the video. <laughs> um, killed five people, injured like dozens. One of the most, the saddest anecdotes I heard from that, there was a little girl found wandering the streets by herself, all traumatized. And they're like, where's your parents? Well, they found out both of her parents were killed. Jesus. Right in front of her. At a 4th of July celebration that they took their two-year-old daughter to go celebrate. I believe it was a boy named oh, boy. Aiden. Yeah, yeah boy. but it was horrible. <coughs> um, Yikes. That is horrific to think about. And that's, that's kind of just, that's the world we live in. I mean, or it's not the world we live in, that's the country we live in. Where that stuff is a weekly occurrence um, and, and, and nothing happens. It's, it's truly, utterly fucking pathetic and then there was another shooting in philadelphia hordes of people running for their lives and this is it this this is america fourth of july everyone's celebrating and there's just mass shootings dude people running for their lives kids parents being murdered and we just move on like fucking nothing happened it's disgusting dude it's nauseating unfucking fathomably I mean, it's cancer, dude. We're living with cancer, and we refuse to to do any uh, do anything about it. We're basically doing like we're basically dying of like a curable cancer and doing like homeopathic remedies for it. <laughs> That's what we're doing we're right Steve now. Jobs in it. We're, we're we're drinking juice. We're doing a juice cleanse yeah, for our cancer. <laughs> um, there was more than a dozen mass shootings in the U.S. over Fourth of July weekend. Lovely. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts. I'm not even feeling safe to go to public gatherings anymore. I'll be totally honest. I mean, realistically, I think statistically, I don't give a fuck. Well, not really that risky, but I understand. I don't give a fuck, dude. You go to a public gathering, Fourth of July, yo, someone's gonna come shoot it up. There's a chance. Fuck that. Yeah. This country is not safe anymore. It's like, it's like terrorism on our own people. Nobody wants to do shit. Isn't that crazy, dude? We're just doing a juice fucking cleanse with cancer. It's crazy, man. So sad. <sighs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to even. I don't even know what to say about it anymore. You know. Really is just so fucked up. Um, let's see. Alec Baldwin and fucking Woody Allen. Oh, you, we got an edit of whatever went down with them? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I sat through the whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you really? AB, so so, so give me basically, work. before I watch the clips. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get into this depressing gun shit anymore. I've done it enough. There's just, you know what I'm saying? Nothing fucking matters anymore. Bro, I'm just becoming a nihilist. You know what I mean? What what option do we have? I'm just going to talk about something fun. So what was your uh, impression of that hour-long conversation? Uh, they should have had some tech people standing by. Oh, really? It was god-awful. Yeah. You'll see. I mean, and, it's really funny. Yeah. It's really funny. That's what's Donna to shame. Interesting. Yeah, it was about... Woody's new book, basically, and uh, Alec kind of fanboying over him the whole time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of funny that Alec Baldwin put basically put his career on the line for an interview that did like was so technically fucked, like he didn't even get an interview out of it. <laughs> yes, what a loser! <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot, bro! What a stupid fucking thing to do, Alec Baldwin. 
Holy shit. Yeah, he sucks. I'm boycotting Alec <laughs> after that he shit. Fucking, well, I think the whole industry is probably boycotting him, to be honest. Holy shit, dude. Alec Baldwin interviewing Woody Allen. Here we go, the best of. This is what he ruined his whole life, career, and legacy over, guys. Let's watch. And now live, <coughs> I'm going to take uh, the comments. I'm going to disable the comments, turning on yeah, the comments. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, right off that, the bat. That's Step a good one. idea there, Alec. <laughs> Smart. Minting. I love his golf visor. Can you hear me now? Yeah, oh, yes. <clears throat> now we can hear you. How old is Woody? That's what I was about to ask. Uh, he looks old as shit. Probably. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. Don't nobody say it yet. I'm gonna guess he is 91 years old. Hell no, that old? Close. Whoa, dude, he was writing for the uh, what was that show? Sid Caesar show or whatever in like the late 50s or something. The dude's been around forever. I guess fucking kids makes you youthful, man. <laughs> That's the secret. People have been saying that Jesus. for years. I sent a picture of him when he's younger. If you want to look at that, if you. Want to get an idea? He look. He was already old. Yo, this is the. This is his stepdaughter. He married, huh? Yeah. Yo, this guy's so fucking up, bro. This guy fucked and married this girl, his stepdaughter. You guys, do you need any more? And this man is sick in the fucking head, bro. That this relationship is evidence enough that everything they said is true. And look, he's already old. This motherfucker is old. Thirty what? years ago. That's what I was saying. Like, his career started in, like, I want to say the early 60s or late 50s. So, wait, how old is he actually? 86. 86. So, I was relatively 86. close. But he came out old. You know what I mean? <laughs> he came out old. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's true. When he was starring in his movies in, like, the late 60s and early 70s, he already looked old as fuck. And I think he was... He's kind of got Larry David syndrome, you know? Mm. How Larry, like, if you see Larry David in the 80s, it was like he's he, already old. He man. looks, yeah. we're thinking about Larry David, he looks better. Now. Right. Well, he has he money did. now, so it's probably helps. That's true. Money helps. Money's good for that. Didn't help me, but <laughs> helps some people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's watch this shit. You can hear me. Okay. Woody, say something. Can you hear him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. You're going to have to turn it up. Uh, my hearing aids are too loud. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I showed what Instagram is. They should back the camera off a little bit. The camera's too close. Are you trying oh. to direct Woody Allen? Yeah, let's try this. Just slide it back a bit so it's more of a bust okay. show. Here we are. You watching? Are we live? Yes, you are. We're live. Okay, we're live. So we'll just we'll just. Dumbass, you don't know you're live. This is Boomer fucking town. <laughs> yeah. Dude. This isn't oh. even Boomer town. This motherfucker's not even a Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. He's the pedo generation. <laughs> when he was that, that age, people just be fucking 15 year olds. That was the name of his generation. I have a Facebook page, but I don't know how to, I've never seen it. I wouldn't know how to access it. And I don't know what oh. it does exactly. If you really love something and you do it with sincerity, there's a chance that uh, you can communicate. It's so perfect. Look at how Alec is like. <laughs> you, you broke up there. <laughs> <laughs> no shit, buddy. You broke up. We bro. lost him again. I don't. Uh, this is. <laughs> Are you there? This is hilarious. I don't. Still don't understand how people have such bad reception in this day and age. I mean, the internet is so prevalent. It's so strong. <laughs> You're both in your houses, presumably that have high speed internet. Yeah. And Instagram Live. I mean, what the fuck. Yeah, that was powerful. Let me go back a little bit. He was finally going to make a point. Yeah. Do it with sincerity. There's a chance that uh, you can commute. <laughs> this is what you gave it all up for, Alec. It's me. You this broke is up what there. you this is what you sold whatever integrity you had left for, my friend. We lost him. Yes, we did. Are you there? <laughs> we froze. Can you hear me cuz you guys are frozen. <laughs> I love that stuff. <clears throat> I cut it, but he gets up for about a good minute. Right here. <laughs> look, at, look at that dump truck. Again. <laughs> yeah, you back? Okay. So. <clears throat> this is great. This is going great. Um, I lost you on a certain note there, but I want to say 
so, so talk about the difference between writing a book like Zero Gravity and your autobiography, which I love your autobiography. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, apropos of nothing came out. That's awesome. <laughs> Man, he gave it all up you. for this. Yeah, he's he's living. Dude. Somebody's getting shot. We're losing him. Oh, yeah. Man. Ooh. Yeah, are, they, are they in a room where they have the best Wi-Fi? Because that this is the second time <laughs> they've shut down. <laughs> no, they need to be in a room with, like, the best Wi-Fi in the house. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for the tech advice, Alex. <laughs> How about some crisis management advice? Don't do this interview, you dumb fucking piece of shit. <laughs> The Wi-Fi is the least of your problems, man. What have they got going on there? Okay, I go on. I just opened the door. Maybe it'll make a difference. She opened yeah. the door. Yeah. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I think they're on dial-up. I think what do you call AOL? Oh God! Just why did this need to be live? I mean, why did it need to happen in the first That's place? That's true. But like, just, just why live? Why are you like you're just causing yourself? A lot of heartache here. I think Alex just was like, it's casual. Nobody's going to get pissed. At it. It's just like we just randomly caught each other on Instagram Live. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was for us. Just for the memes. <laughs> like, Probably the only yeah. people that watched I this think show. this I think was just for us. Yeah, we're. The, I think we're the only people that cut it up like this and are enjoying <laughs> it to this degree. <laughs> maybe we should upload this as, you know, Alec Baldwin, Woody Allen, best of. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> best watchable version. <laughs> the open door, I cannot. To let the Wi-Fi breathe. Let it breathe. Is that what? Yeah, it is? Is, is, there, is, there, is there any? Is that? Well, of course, that could work, right? Wi-Fi yeah, is a radio signal. It can be yeah, obstructed by the door. Door. walls yeah. and everything. Oh, but the, interesting. The chances yeah. that a thin ass door is mm. like what's causing your problem is almost nothing. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah, I love that though. I'm the tech guy. I open the door. <laughs> Should work now. I can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you yet. <laughs> Uh, can, can you hear me? Your wife must know that when you write a book of casuals, you're going to give her the business a little bit every now and then. This is I mean, so my awesome, favorite bro. line is you say uh, that, that, uh, that her credit card was still glowing from the recent frictions of the credit. Did we lose the connection again? <laughs> sure did. <clears throat> Open a window. Yeah. <laughs> You dumbass. Oh, uh, <laughs> what a stupid idiot. Stupid. Dumb. Fucking idiot. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Well, thanks uh, for going through that, AB. Oh, Appreciate yeah, no that. problem. Did you learn anything? Did you learn anything interesting over that hour yeah. long? I have more patience than I thought. Any insights into the creative genius of Woody Allen? No, it's just mostly like Alex Simpin for Alan. Hmm. He didn't ask him anything about his love life or anything like that. No, <laughs> he just said that. He Woody, uh, let life. me ask you, um, how young is too young in your opinion? Let's say the two people are in love. How young is too young? This seems to be something that maybe you could tell us. Well, you know, uh, I, I don't really see age as, as a number. I'll refer you to my film Manhattan. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a 40-year-old dating a 16-year-old. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, that, that, that's love, you know. I, I like the tight little young uh, bodies of uh, young girls. <laughs> and I mean, they don't, they don't know anything. They'll, they'll do anything I tell them, right? They don't have a confidence yet. Take, for example, my stepdaughter. She was 12. Uh, 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 you know, uh, I mean, that was great. I apologize. The girl was 17 in the film. And that's in a movie that motherfucker put out. Yeah. He's like, I'm 40 dating a 17-year-old, and that's what I'm willing to say on the record. Academy Award winning movie. <laughs> Let's go, baby. That's what I'm saying. This is the pedo generation, straight up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, this is how we do it. <laughs> okay, let's get to the Jordan Peterson shit, because this stuff was Wait, what do we have so here? good. Oh, you no, got something little... good? We got a little cam meme here. <laughs> so what do we got here? This is uh, Alec Baldwin with a gun and Woody. He is shooting his career, I believe. He's, he's shooting executing his career. The, oh, he's oh, Alec is executing his own IMD page. He's giving it all up for his boy Woody. Mm -hmm. Love that. <laughs> Our for me. You gave it all up with a man with a droopy ass eye, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it all up uh, for a man that's got like three days to live. 
Just saying. <laughs> kind of like three days. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, boy. So, Jordan Peterson... Yes. Now, Brent, I'm just saying, okay. <laughs> yes. Some of you guys may have seen this, but he had a full-on meltdown when I was sick with COVID, and it was one of my favorite things. Or maybe it was before, or no, it was. It happened the week. It, you're week. talking about the original tweet about uh, the whole issue, or are you talking about his reaction to getting banned? Well, he first he got he tweeted out the most horrible thing, which we talked about, right? And then he got. Actually, it wasn't even a suspension. Twitter just sent him a notification that said, erase this tweet and we'll restore your account. I've gotten one of those before. It's those I, soft I bands. Yeah. yeah. And at the same time, he joined the Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro's um, network. They're basically the whole platform of the Daily Wire at this point is hating trans people. I feel like that's basically their... It's the whole right-wing media. I mean, this is what they're running on the midterms on. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. That's why I don't understand the people platform. like... You see that clip of like Macy Gray? She's like, I just want to say it just happened like yesterday. I don't know. So about I just want to say for the record that trans women aren't real women, just out of nowhere. You can just find it. Decided to. And then and then JK Rowling was like, I'm buying all of Macy Gray's discography. I was like, why the fuck are <laughs> you? Weird. That's like, yeah. And the turf thing is real. I mean, it's like they think that trans women are take away from the real woman experience which is just so odd to me i mean why do you care fuck you shut the fuck up especially when trans people are getting dogpiled by like every conservative psychopath you know mm -hmm. i just find it so um so inhuman what what people like that say and do but anyway not about that i just want to <laughs> point out it's a little weird to hear about macy gray that's literally a name I haven't heard. Yeah, I know. Pull it up, bro. Decades. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Macy Gray. She I... had like she had like one song and then. It was a one-hit wonder from what, like what, early 2000s. What was the song she was famous? I try to stay up high, high, high. Right. 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 She sings it just like that. Right. That was no, the voice condition. I recognized, but the song didn't quite reach me through the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you find that clip, anyone? Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway, you could trust me. It happened. <clears throat> but anyway. <sighs> yes, yeah, so. Sorry, I'm realizing right now I only know who Macy Gray is because she was on an episode of That's So Raven when I was a kid. That's That timeline matches up. Dude, she well. got so much mileage out of that one song. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. And now she's out here being a turf. <laughs> she, I also saw on TikTok she's like starting to uh, make a TikTok presence. She's like going around handing her new CDs to people. Dude, that's damn. Yeah, She's down at Venice Beach. Yeah. Pretty much. That's like, <laughs> that's like the old scam at um. Yeah, at Venice. At, yeah. uh, at, at New York. What is it called? Uh, my brain is fried from COVID. It's like okay, they hand you the CD, and then they're usually like, "Well, people usually tip us like." 10 bucks yeah just handing out their mixtape yeah but anyways yeah i was just shocked by it like, <laughs> oh this is where i saw it of course deaf noodles of course yeah deaf noodles always has the tea uh here everybody's gonna hate me but as a woman <laughs> just because you go change your plots doesn't make you a woman right sorry okay nobody asked bitch <laughs> okay Fucking pierce morgan what is she, too. Is she, yeah is that a pierce pierce morgan uh you feel that interview I know yeah. that for a fact. Oh. You know that for so a fact? He probably asked. You said nobody asked. I mean. Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't know. It didn't seem. And I, I will say this, and everybody's going to hate me, but as a woman. Seems like she kind of just threw it out there based on the very little context I have. Just because you go change your plots doesn't make you. <coughs> right. Sorry. Why? You feel that? Why? Dude, I just don't care. Why, why do you care? Why do you care? Just don't get it. It's so weird. Oh, yeah, then the J.K. Rowling. Let me find this tweet just to show you what a piece of shit she actually is. Oh, it's not here. Never mind. Anyway, also, let's talk about Jordan. What? Also, Bette Midler had a commercial yes. tweet, too. Yeah, I saw that, too. Bette and fucking Midler. Yeah. We are women who have come together to say that trans women are not real women. She 
shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about you. Your stupid ass opinion. Oh, there's more? We get the whole context. That's good, and I'm not rap. sure why, really. It's, it's a bit like this whole issue of, of transgenders in sport. Because I, I, I support all trans rights to fairness and equality. Except in sports. Me too. But not where you have... Me too. <laughs> Me too, bitch. You sound like Oscar the Grouch. Shut up. <coughs> Physical superior. You belong in a trash can in Sesame Street, not in Pierce Morgan. Also, why is he like... Like, that's not true, Pierce. Wait, what? He starts out, he qualifies it all. I support trans rights. You believe really? Pierce Morgan? Mm, I mean, no, I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't, it I don't it actually that. goes a little further back to like six minute timestamp. Well, we're on a tangent here, but I guess it's good just to show how ev literally everybody hates trans people these days. Transphobia, transphobia is like the new, definitely the new homophobia of. Of the 90s. Somehow it feels even worse, though. More hateful. More, like... More acute. Violent, yeah. in, a, in a way. It seems like the rhetoric is violent. I mean, not to take away from homophobia, because no need to compare them. About how you feel about women, you know? Mm. And there, there would be so many things that, that went into that, you know? I mean, we're in an era now, basically, where you can't... Yeah. Most public figures are too terrified to even say what they think a woman is. I know. I mean, well, if I asked you what a woman so is, what would you say? <laughs> Let's say uh, a human being with uh, boobs. How <laughs> are you to start there? Yeah. I mean you know, that's like the normal answer, and it's fine. Because it's like, look, you're talking about, like, gender identity studies and theory about, like, gender and, and sex being separate. And she's ignorant about that. That's fine. But it's weird how they just revel in their ignorance, like... Like, well, in her definition, I mean, <laughs> it's a human being with boobs. Okay. That, I have boobs. That sounds I, like, I have nipples. Could you milk me, Greg? You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meet the fuckers. Well, I just mean, love that shit. Tra trans women, you know, they'll, they'll get breast surgery and they'll have boobs. So I guess they are women. Like, well, your definition is that simplistic. I'm just you're right. pointing no, out exactly. how you're right. little she's actually thought about this. And, well, they're, they're basically they're the same thing they always go. It's like, oh, you know what a woman is. And it's like a woman's a woman. That's what they. That's all they say. But it's actually more interesting than that, more nuanced than that when you think about it. And it's just weird how they revel in their ignorance. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the dictionary is quite straightforward. It just says a human, child. adult, female, yeah. right? No, a lot of people. Yeah. See, that's now that's a little getting confusing. The whole he, she, they. That's that's gonna. And I'm not back. sure why really. It's it's a bit. Why like, are you so even asking her about it? She's like a crackhead, bro. Is this the conversation we're having with Macy Gray? What does she think about the Ukraine war? And, and uh, let's get her take on other hot topic issues. The whole issue of, of transgenders <laughs> in sport. I, I can, I why the fuck does trans... Macy Gray even talking about transgender people in sports? I, I, like, I'm still baffled why she's, she's on anything. She's <laughs> proven that she has, she has nothing to say about it. Yeah. Yeah, she's not an expert. She's, she's truly and fully ignorant about it. And she's basically said so. <laughs> rights to fairness and equality. Me too. But not where you have Me to to obvious physical superior bodies. Me too. Me too. Like, like shoe nice doing women. Marge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Marge. Get out of here with that Marge ass sounded. <laughs> Her dude's kind of looking like Marge too. That's cool. To me it I sounds totally like shoe nice is Marge specifically. Yeah. Not even the real I like Marge. that. I like that. And I, I will say this, and everybody's gonna hate me, but as a woman, she brought that out. Just because you go change your parts doesn't make you a woman. Saying what? as a woman is so condescending to trans people. It's it's like absurd. Gatekeeping. It's yeah. It's like claiming the gender before your point, even to like spew hatred. It's just it's so evil. I do think it's. Yeah, I don't know why people point this out too, and I don't know what this is about, but. With all of, because you're right, there's definitely a huge upsurge in like the last year or two of transphobia and people getting like really intensely upset about all of this. The conversation is almost exclusively about trans women. <laughs> Nobody right. cares about trans men. Nobody right. seems That's to be like offended by that or scared yeah, by that at all. You know what I think it is? I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is true. You guys get mad at me when I say stuff like this. But people like Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro and all these guys, they hate trans women 
because they're scared that they're attracted that they're to them, bro. Yeah, it makes and I know you guys hate you guys hate when I say like all oh, the whatever. I think that that's part of it, bro. Why don't people care about trans men? You're absolutely right. Oh, they do. This whole thing's about Elliot, uh, whatever Page. the last name Page. Page. So that's not entirely true, but most of it is about trans women. I think you're right. Crowder's afraid that he that he's attracted. See, I, I don't agree sees. with you blanket stating that. <laughs> However, I do think Crowder. A crowd, Crowder. Uh, no, but well, you know what's I, crazy, I dude? It. How yeah, many of these? There's something there. How many? Well, there's two specifically, but it's a pattern at this point. Alex Jones and Nick Fuentes both got caught with trans porn yep. on their fucking phone. No, I mean, it's a real thing. And like, yeah. I think, I think people probably just take issue with you not hedging that saying that there are plenty of people that aren't closeted because i think the the way it's been articulated to me that actually makes sense is that when you say that it's making it seem like it's it's the the queer and gay people that are the problem like they're creating a problem of their own rather than straight cis people just being hateful and bigoted by I implying that, it, that that all of these people are closeted <laughs> And that's why they're acting this way. Um, okay, and I but, think it's true. Pl okay. I mean, there are plenty of heterosexual people that are just fucking bigots. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But again, with Crowder, I really do. I, I do think there is something there. <laughs> I don't I know, mean, man. Yeah, and it's another way to say it too to agree with you is like, if people like Jordan are making such a big deal out of this, so it must be affecting them on a personal level, dude. His response, Jordan Peterson, you guys are gonna see. His response to this is so far beyond Just, reasonable. Yeah, He's like happen. all the way in another solar system in terms of gauging his response. And the best part is that like Elliot Page hasn't even set, doesn't say anything to him, doesn't know anything about him. There's Not literally that. never been, it, 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 he's obsessed. He's obsessed with Elliot Page. Yep. <clears throat> so let's watch the Jordan Peterson because this, this is really amazing. And I feel so justified in erasing those Jordan uh, clips when I did. And this was before he really went fucking nuts. So I feel like, you know, redeemed in a way that I erased yeah. those fucking episodes now. I guess no. this does kind of go count. I, like I said earlier, that it's almost always trans women being attacked. In this case, it actually is a trans man. Yeah. So That's what I said. it's not universal. I guess right. I should make that clear. Yeah. But it does seem like the vast majority of it is about trans women. Right. That's a good point. I agree. Um, Sex. What'd you say, Olivia? Oh, I couldn't see it while I typed it. Just like you, you called COVID before. Oh, horrible. thank you, dude. You called Jordan. Thank you. I see horrible. things. People need to understand that about me. I see things. <laughs> People don't give me credit for seeing the things I do, but you do, Olivia, and I love that about you. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. I do. I do. <laughs> All right, so let's talk, because this shit is nuts. You guys are going to love this if you haven't seen it. So Jordan Peterson, he got suspended on Twitter for the horrible tweet that he made. Um, and where's that original tweet, just to give context? <laughs> it was just, it was so vile. It was so messed up. It was like one of the meanest, most hateful tweets I've seen. A public figure actually tweet out um and we did a whole segment about it but let me just read it to you guys to refresh the memory <coughs> you're muted then 50 fucking memberships five zero that was oh thank you jordan you did also we got apparently uh we got 50 from granny's meat curtains yeah. everybody damn granny's meat curtains thank you her genital that. region was exposed. Right, who's, got that dimly. who's got that tweet? I'm just gonna pretend like that was Jordan that did that. I'm just gonna. That's Thank the real you, Jordan. That just glorious. Uh, 120p. Right, so he said it was a picture of. Remember when Pride was a sin and Ellen Page, which I guess that's like dead naming. Mm -hmm. It's like using his old name just right. to be uh, offensive. Signed at birth. It's like just to be offensive. Yeah, for real. Like yeah, he changed his like, name. He changed his name. Mm -hmm. When someone legally changed their name, you don't call them by their old name. I mean, he's just being a dick. 
But then the weird, the craziest thing for me was he goes, and Ellen Page just had her breasts removed by a criminal physician. And, you know, Elliot is like in his 30s, fully developed, successful, accomplished person. And even him making a decision for his own health is unacceptable to Jordan. 35 he is. I find that so interesting because it's, the dialogue's always about like kids. What are we doing to the kids? It's a 35-year-old man who made a decision about himself, and Jordan's not down with that. I mean, what the fuck? Somebody dude? you forgot to ask? <laughs> yeah, where's Once that again? meme? That was so good. <laughs> <coughs> there was a great meme of a doctor saying, I consent, Elliot saying, I consent, and then Jordan. Oh, somebody actually made that? Okay. Yeah. Is there somebody you forgot to ask? Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> so anyway, um, he got suspended for that but it wasn't a real suspension they just said erase the tweet and we'll re we'll restore your account so in response instead of erasing it and getting his account back he put out a 14 minute video <laughs> in which he breaks down every single word of that tweet he says quote i would rather die than erase the tweet how about that huh Die. Nope. Up yours. Uh, Peterson last claimed he would quit Twitter after getting upset. Yeah, then the, he wasn't. He couldn't jerk off to the to the overweight Sports Illustrated model, and um, he said he was going to quit Twitter after that. But now he's saying he'll die for Twitter. <laughs> right. I die for this shit. Sorry, not beautiful. <laughs> I find it en endlessly interesting how t important Twitter is to these, like, fucking freaks. <laughs> um, <coughs> here we go, guys. Get ready. Hello, everyone. Let me guess. Oh, it's on his page. Look at this motherfucker. Put on a suit. This is the most important moment of his life. Because Twitter said, delete. look at this fucking guy. What's scary is it has 300,000 likes, guys, and 3 million views. People really yeah, like this. His channel, his family. Wait, no. There's, this is fucked up. <laughs> well, yeah, it's fucked up. It's so fucked up that people agree with him and think that this is interesting. This guy, this guy is the titan. He's the great thinker on the right. A few days ago, I penned an irritating tweet in response to one of the latest happenings. That, that's putting it mildly, irritated. It was, it was, <laughs> it was barbaric. It was uh, inhuman. Penned a fucking completely unhinged yeah, read. exactly. Or totally unprompted. Somebody needs to line up that doctor and kill them by death squad. <laughs> On the increasingly heated culture war front, in response to the decision of an actress, actor named Ellen Elliot oh, Page. Oh, slip there. Oh. Nice shtick, bro. Oh, an actor, an actress, Elliot, Ellen. Ah, oh, just so, it's so hard to it's keep so track. Hard, ah, just, ah. By the way, like he was so upset about uh, the removal of the breasts, and it's a criminal act. It's like, do you know about breast reduction surgery? Well, as many people have pointed out, let me see if I can find the pictures because you're going to love this, Mr. <laughs> Harlan. It's actually King. a thing. Did you see that he very clearly got a uh, hairline surgery? Pull it up. I didn't know Jordan was that vain, loser. How dare you interfere with God's will to, for you to be bald? Fuck you. Yeah. I They're mean, saying literally gender it's gender affirming, affirming surgery. surgery. That's yeah. what it is. Here, check it out. Sex. Bro, you were bald as fuck. What's up, player? Very clear. Why are you here? Here's another photo of him back in the day. Oh my god. Look at him. Dude, he looks fucked up. Oh, it's just a how this guy? Yeah, he looks famous? much better now, and he probably feels a lot more confident and better about himself, and you know, and more masculine. It's almost like you know, it works. It works. Isn't vanity a hmm. sin? Oh, vanity? got him. Good okay, point, AB. Thank you. <laughs> this video is crazy. I can't believe he actually did a 15-minute video about this shit. Is nuts, you guys. Uh. Delete. 
I am employing this awkward and impossible naming style because it it's not it's it's not impossible. You know what's cool? What? You could just not talk about him. <laughs> like that is yeah, something you just, could do. You're not required. <laughs> this man has anything. a PhD in psychology and he says I it's impossible. It's beyond human means to keep track of two names. I can't do it. <laughs> it's impossible. Insane. It's insane. Now apparently mandatory and I'm probably doing it wrong. <laughs> it's not mandatory, bro. Are you going to jail? Are you fucking right. uh, are you are you being locked up? No, it's not mandatory. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You're just a dick. And that's what people are saying. Yeah. Mandatory. Wrong, nonetheless, as you're doing it wrong is the whole point of what is being made mandatory. But also, I'm trying to make a point. I love that this is like a three cam shot. This is his. This is his address to the union, bro. This is insane. This is intense. Okay, it's just Twitter, dude. It's just Twitter. They just said erase the tweet, man. I've essentially been banned from Twitter no. as a consequence. <laughs> I say banned, although technically I have been suspended. But the suspension will not be lifted unless I delete the hateful tweet in question. Bridge, stop. It was hateful. Even if you think you're right, you're angry. You're hateful, bro. Shut up. You're a hateful little bitch-ass fucking loser dork. You seen that old picture of you, you dork? Pencil-headed fuck. I just want to point out, Hassan made a good point in comparison. He was banned for a week for saying cracker, and he didn't cry about it. <laughs> right. He didn't make a three-shot yeah. dramatic. This is where I. This is where we make our stand. Cracker. Here and no further. <laughs> I will not erase the tweet. I will die. No. At the no. foot of Twitter no. headquarters. No. <laughs> Mandatory. And I would rather die than do that. He would have rather. This is so good. <laughs> this man was willing to quit. He said he's quitting Twitter last week, and now he's dying for Twitter. It's pretty serious. I'm dying. And hopefully it will not come to that, although who the hell knows in these increasingly strange days. Yes. What was it that I said that caused such a fuss? And that fuss is just beginning. And even more importantly and complexly, what exactly was it that I said that resulted in the ban? Here's the tweet in question. Remember when pride was a sin? And Ellen Page just had her breasts removed by a criminal physician. And then a link to a story that detailed out the happenings. The response from Twitter, quote, Violating our rules against hateful conduct. You may not promote violence against, threaten, or harass other people on the basis of race, ethnicity, national origin, sexual orientation, gender, gender identity, religious affiliation, age, disability, <laughs> or serious disease. Mm -hmm. By clicking delete, you acknowledge that your tweet violated the Twitter rules. Yep. Delete. If you think we've made a mistake, Submit an appeal to us. Please note that should you do so. Dude, it's just Twitter, bro. You made a three cam shot bitching and crying about a tweet, dude. You loser. Have some dignity, man. Uh, your account will remain locked while we review <laughs> your appeal. Let's take this apart. First, it is clearly the case that I did not promote violence against or threaten anyone. No, and uh, it said harass, too. He's ignoring that it said harass. Mm. With my missive. So that leaves the arguably lesser sin of harass. Okay, not like that. Let's assume, since I wasn't informed, that that was the crime. And further, harassment on the basis of so-called gender identity sits Twitter did not do me the favor of actually specifying my crime, and 
There are many possibilities on that front. We unfortunately have to guess at why this is occurring. <laughs> I've said so many That's offensive actually... things. I don't even I don't even know what I was banned for. And because Twitter didn't send me a letter and come to my and sit down with me and explain why my tweets were hurtful and mean, like I'm a 12-year-old, <laughs> then I don't understand. What is this? I will yeah. fucking die for that tweet. Bucko? Big problem in and of itself, and <coughs> also indicative of the utter carelessness of the Twitter organization with regard to the propriety of its own sensorial actions. I should at least know exactly what I did wrong. Shut up, dude. What are you, fucking 12? Shut up. Shut up. Sit down. Go to your room, Jordan, you fucking pathetic weasel. And clean it. You're, for you, God's go sake. and clean your room. You're grounded. <laughs> I can't believe this guy actually takes himself seriously, man. It's crazy. If I am required to acknowledge that my tweet violated <laughs> the Twitter rules. What rules, you sons of bitches? What rules, you sons <laughs> of bitches? I'll fucking die for this shit. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, it's Twitter. Chill, bro. Anyway, that you got that sound drop, right, Zach? What I did wrong. Uh, Zach, it's in the restroom. If I'm required to <laughs> acknowledge that my tweet violated the Twitter rules. What rules, you sons of bitches? I love that. <laughs> he does have it, by the way. He got like 50 sound bites okay, good. this video, yeah. Because you know it's just like some random Twitter rules enforcer who's like, oh yeah, this is violating the rules. What rules, you sons of bitches? What do you mean, what rules? You know exactly. It said harassing, on the base of gender. Stop. Just erase the tweet, move on. Exactly. Precisely. Because such things matter when the accusations start flying. So what did I say that might constitute harassment? Well, many things, hypothetically. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. And we're cool. We it's can shut it down. What rules? Let's begin sons with of bitches. Yeah, thank there you. you. Go. Love that. Remember when pride was a sin? Although that is merely a factual statement, because under the old <coughs> rules, applicable even a decade ago, pride was a sin and had been recognized as perhaps the cardinal sin for thousands of years previously. This is like the most intentionally obtuse point ever. Like, remember when pride was a sin? You're talking about gay pride. People being proud of who they are instead of being ashamed and embarrassed who they are. The same kind of pride you might have in your child who played, did, did, got good grades. We're not talking about sinful pride. We're not talking about, you know, the proverbial sin of pride, which is like hubris, hubris. which is like That's exactly over, over love for yourself, over confidence for yourself, not listening to others. There's a sin of pride, which I think if anyone's committing, it might be you. Um, the How can you conflate those? You're a doctor. Stop acting so obtuse you fucking know the difference between the sin pride hubris and being proud of something i mean how fucking dumb bro you you really think the people that watch your thing is dumb it's, it's, shut the fuck up pride gay pride what the fuck dude can i uh throw in another point uh, his, <coughs> Please. his audio is dog shit I heard it like clip in that way. audio, audio, three different audio, times, audio, 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 audio. So, fuck your, fuck you, Jordan. Fuck your audio. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. That's an important. <laughs> that's an important. That's the point. that's the cardinal sin right there. <laughs> that is when you're recording a video. Clipping. I mean, you got three three cameras set up, and you're gonna have shit audio. Come on, dude. bro. Good point, bro. Uh, pride is a. Remember when pride was a sin? It still is a sin. You dumbass. And you're what doing rules, it right now. You sons of bitches. You're sinning right now, you bitch. You fucking ass. Apple cider drinking fucking stroke having. You sons of bitches. I liked Jordan better when he was addicted to benzos. I'll just say that. <laughs> bitches. Bitches. <laughs> I don't like sober Jordan. It's not fun. I agree. <laughs> it still might be regarded as unacceptable to the woke authoritarian moralists who now insist, for example, that we celebrate <coughs> Pride Month 
not hour or day. <laughs> hey, are you doing shtick? It's a whole month. Who needs a whole month? Pride month. Don't even get me started on Black History Month. <laughs> Who month. needs a month? Where's month. my white pride month? Month. He's doing like a stand-up routine now. A month? One day, maybe. A month? That's a sin! Too much pride! Wait. Pride month, not hour or day or <laughs> week. Hour? Is that what he wants? Pride hour? That's all he wants for them? <laughs> yeah, boy. Pride hour, guys. That's all. Listen. <laughs> you guys get one hour. <laughs> he wants a pride purge. You have one day a year. Get it out of your system. Yeah. He goes, okay, that. ready? Okay, go. You get one hour. And then you're all being rounded up after that. It's the... <laughs> no more pride after one hour. You get one hour, one hour. Bucko. One hour. Enjoy it while it lasts, you fucking sinner. It'll be called the no homo hour. No homo. It's for one hour, you can, it's not gay. <laughs> for this one hour where pride is no longer a sin, I'm going to tell my daughter I love her and that I'm proud of all the work she's done because otherwise it's a sin. Pride. <laughs> what an idiot. But month, and who have literally called it Pride Month instead of LGBT plus month or whatever else alphabet acronym dude you think you're really making a point here and it's actually just embarrassing this is like i'm third i'm 14 and this is deep level of thinking <laughs> it's nuts this guy is a celebrated thinker which is currently insisted upon as the only acceptable enlightened terminology <laughs> i don't regard pride as a virtue it has been classically i won't call it pride month for example I don't call Black History Month Black History Month. It's outrageous to force my, compel my speech. I call it Black Folks Month. <laughs> I find that easier to say. Regarded as a sin. I don't see that sexual orientation or sexual desire of any sort is something to celebrate or to take pride yeah, in. Yeah, because you're straight and you never been prosecuted for being gay. You never had people wanting to kill you, literally drag you but at the end of a car till you die. You've never had people tell you you're going to hell because of the way you were born. Yeah, of course you, you don't think it should be. And it's incredible that you actually have so little empathy, so little insight into the human condition that you consider yourself a PhD of psychology and you're telling a whole swath of people that they shouldn't, that you don't understand. They're very simple to relate to human experience. You have the fucking maturity of a. You have the maturity of a. Hmm. Old, 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 bigoted man. <coughs> okay, that's right on the nose. That's, yeah. that's literally what what's going on here. No, no. Oh, thank you. Happy Pride Second. Oh, that's the same. Well. The same icon. Yeah. They must have just changed their name to Happy Pride Second. <laughs> Happy Pride Second, guys. Thank you, 50. Well, 50? So that's 100 total. Legend. The oh, legendary pride. Fuck. I'm, no. The, take that pride and shove it up your ass. Mandatory. You just committed a sin on 100 innocent people. You Get that not. flag out of here. <laughs> I like how he says pride's a sin. Just say you hate gay people, bro. Just what say, rules, you sons of bitches? Hey, just say gay, being gay is a sin. What rules, you sons of bitches? Wow. What a loser. <coughs> this guy has the maturity of a finely aged Xanax. <laughs> take a Xanny bar. Hey, Jordan, wouldn't it be nicer just to take a Xanny bar and chill? Life's so hard. You're so stressed out. Maybe just take a Xanny bar and relax. Take a nap. Watch your shows. It'd be nice, right? And so what I said was merely a fact. Now, it's possible that I hurt <laughs> someone's feelings because I pointed out that pride goes before, for example, a fall. But I don't care yeah, you're about You're talking that. about hubris. You're talking about Greek pride, bro. Why are you so obtuse? Do you know the difference between pride and, like, mythological, tr tragic hubris pride? Stop, bro. 
shut the fuck up. You read all day, uh, so, uh, supposedly. You know the difference. Yeah, here, here is the uh, sort of explanation of the sin pride, the one that he's supposedly talking about. And you tell me if you think this sounds like um, Go uh, ahead. him or the Elliot. people that he's criticizing. Yeah. Uh, in a pathological sense, uh, it is an irrational <laughs> belief that one is essentially better, superior, or more important than others, uh, despising their merits and excessively admiring oneself as godlike, refusing to acknowledge one's limits, faults, or wrongs. Dude, that is fucking so interesting that he's literally it's committing so the on sin the nose. Like, he's it, accusing people of. Yes. This 100%. video is like the embodiment of the sin of pride. Yes. Exactly. His mind is not open. He's convinced he's right. Um, and, 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 and it's actually just resulting in, in hate and the meaning of other people. This is the sin of pride mm -hmm. personified and fuck you <laughs> if jordan was in the movie seven i'm pretty sure his ass would be like up on a cross or some shit <laughs> as one of the sins of pride <laughs> that's awesome dude whoa this is what i'm saying dude your mind on too much jesus fuck your mind up bro it's scramble your ass I'm just telling you man this is nuts I would do it again and then can you define the uh, just pride like i'm proud of myself because i because i didn't because I didn't have a pizza today. Uh, let's see. Richard Taylor defined pride as the justified <laughs> the justified love of oneself as opposed to the false pride or narcissism. <laughs> Similarly, Saint Augustine, this is a Catholic saint, defined it as the love of one's own excellence or others. You could have pride in others. Sure. Too. Yeah. I did not put my dick anywhere near my dog. <laughs> mm. That is, is bestiality a sin? <laughs> I believe it. I think it might be. Is it? Which sin is bestiality? Yeah. I've no, never done anything I don't think it's a with sin. my dogs. Well, or a commandment. A commandment. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's pride. Because pride is a commandment, isn't it? No, no, no. It's one of the seven deadly sins. Oh, or seven right. cardinal it, sins. It'd be lust, right? Lust, gluttony, greed, <laughs> sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. Are Why the is fucking... Okay, let's not get you've too seen, deep into that. You've and, seen... Come on, you know this. You've, you've watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist. That you can't fuck animals is a sin? <laughs> no, I did not come on my Oh, dog. the deadly seven sin? Yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know. For, I forgot about that whole thing. <laughs> All right, let's keep going, Jordan. You're doing great. You're doing great, Jordan. You're doing great, sweetie. And also consider it my duty to warn those who are about to fall into a pit that the path they are on leads suddenly downhill. Dude, it's crazy how he's describing his life trajectory. He's been on a downward <laughs> hill yeah. into this sin of pride, and he's fallen down into the black hole of pride. This Dude, man is lost. It's lost. I think it's funny. He just said but that duty. Was duty. 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 Zach got you. Duty. Duty. Zach fucked you good, Jordan, bitch-ass Peterson. Duty-ass. Thank you, Jordan. Is eating duty a sin? Duty. Got him. Duty. Duty. Probably not the reason that I was banned from Twitter. Although, as I said, I am in the position of having to guess. No, that wasn't it, Jordan. Next phrase to interrogate. And Ellen Page. Now, why did I stop there? <laughs> because in all likelihood, it was this seemingly innocuous phrase, including the name of a well-known actress, there I'm in trouble again, that likely resulted in my ban. I committed the fatal crime of what has come to be known in the appalling sensorial terminology of the insane activists as dead naming, which is the act of referring to someone who has transitioned <coughs> another hated. I love that he's defending like he, he he's pretending like he didn't use his former name to insult. Like that was a very conscious decision. I mean, I don't think that's why he got banned. I think the whole tweet in general, calling the doctor a criminal and all that shit, I think it was all very ISIS, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, but this is kind of what's been going on between the two of them, summarized. Jordan says, you took everything from me, and Elliot says, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> and that's pretty much what's been going on between the two <laughs> <Yeah>. of them. <laughs> love that. Love that for you, Jordan. <laughs> By the way, Elliot was in Umbrella Academy. Love that show. The third season just came out. Really good. Juno is my favorite movie in the entire world. Juno, yeah, that's right. I love Juno. That's nuts. That I can't even believe that, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. 
duty piece of jargon and slogan by the name and by the inference, the gender, really the sex, that everyone knew them by previously, and in the case of Ellen slash Elliot, that millions of people recognized and knew. So I should have either called him, her, they, Elliot, instead of Ellen, although as we will discover, that would have made it impossible for me to say what I wanted to and need to say in the remaining phrases. I need Not to that say such it. a problem would bother those who are objecting to my speech in the first place. Yeah. Um that you did that on purpose to be a dick. Let's just be real. Precisely. The next phrase is, just had her breasts removed. This bit suffers from a very similar problem. I employed the forbidden <coughs> pronoun her when Elliot, Ellen, is now to be regarded as a he or else. But there's a conundrum here to say the least and not just for me although I have been banned because of it, was Elliot slash Ellen a she or a he or Ellen or Elliot when she or he or they, that's Elliot or Elian, by the way. I think you could what? benefit from a gender studies class. I mean. <laughs> what, what, what is this think, sentence that he's trying think, to spit out right now? This is. I think he's just confused. I think he just needs an intro course on well, gender studies. Clearly, he's ridiculously ignorant, but he knows what he's doing wrong, and he's doing it purposefully. So if yeah. he just let himself do things correctly, it would be a lot easier, I think, for the rest of the world and him. Yeah, he's being intentionally obtuse about everything just to be a dick. And, um, well, hold on, guys. It's actually Pride Minute, so if oh, anyone just... Oh, everybody. Bow your heads, bow yeah. your heads. Pride Minute. Dan, get your ass over here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yo, get that dick out, son. <laughs> About to act up. All right, Prime Minute. Prime Minute's over. Get it off. Stop, 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 stop. No more of that stop! shit. No more of that gay shit. Insane. Pride Minute. That was a fun minute. Look forward to it next year. <laughs> and it's just soon. Had his or her or their breasts removed. If he or she was a he, if she or he or they or they, or is or is it, I, I can't deal with it. Then why was it necessary to have the mastectomy? <coughs> and how could those I'm writing to make sense of what I was saying if it was his breasts that were removed? Because were gender has nothing breasts? to do with biology, dude. I don't know why, has, why we have to explain this. Like, you know the difference. It's been explained to you and all your dumbass friends a gajillion times. Gender is different from biological sex, okay? You're missing that very, <laughs> come on. I mean, he knows He's that. not missing, of course he is. I, I actually go further, I mean, I think, I think he fucking kamikaze with that tweet intentionally. I don't think it's a coincidence that yeah. he was announced that he was joining the Daily Wire mm -hmm. like a few days after all of this went down and within Moments after that has this slickly produced, you know, video. <laughs> Three cam. Yeah. Uh, it, he's doing this for attention. He's antagonizing intentionally. Uh, yeah, it's they, and, and then actually there's other people, which we'll get into, but like Dave Rubin went and got himself banned. Mm -hmm. Who's gay, by the way, the most self-hating. Yeah. I love Dave Rubin's story, man. <laughs> that man. He's definitely going to hell, too. Yeah. Oh, man, we're getting lots of gifted Whoa. stuff. What I miss? What, are, what did we do? Where would we be without members? members? 50 gifted subs. Another 50? Is that it, that isn't the same person again, is it? <coughs> oh, it might be. It's a Jordan Peterson name. Is this the same, same guy who does pictures. subs go up? Is this, this must be subs go up. I don't know. This is Probably like our. Not. <clears throat> this is our. This is our secret George Soros who's like funding the podcast <laughs> at this point. Like, George, me. dude, that'd be badass if George was a fan. <laughs> I'll take some of that George Soros one. I don't give a shit. Send it over. Come on, baby. We, Daddy needs a new scorpion chair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so are female breasts that were removed. If they were male breasts, <coughs> then why were they removed? If Jeez. they were female breasts and had therefore become objectionable to the degree that surgery generally reserved for cancer treatment was required, was morally obligatory, then wasn't Elliot still Ellen? And he still she? I fucking got him. I untangled because, this crazy ass puzzle of yours. Because they had boobs? 
Yeah, because he's just ignoring it's, the obvious. It's difference. just the, that's the defining. It's just he's on the same page as Macy Gray, actually. Yeah, titties the make the titties, woman. Titties, big beautiful titties is the end all be all of what a woman is. If you take the tits away, ah! you're no longer a woman. <laughs> what the fucking shit, dude? You're some kind of freak. <laughs> You twisted yourself up into some crazy pretzel, Jordan. Gender and sex are different. That's it, man. It's really not complicated. I don't even have a PhD. <laughs> You're just some fucking idiot with brain damage with, to COVID. I would say 10 IQ points <laughs> yeah. lower and you still got it. Yeah. My brain is glossed over, laminated over, <laughs> and I still get it. How could I possibly have written that sentence in any sensible manner well, whatsoever? You, yeah, because you wrote it. Well, simultaneously to be making my point understandably. And not breaking Twitter <laughs> rules against so-called hairline. Uh -oh. When exactly did you become a haired fellow? Hold on a second. Our internet died. <laughs> I see lots of Fs in the chat. Yeah. Oh, I think it's coming back. back. Yo, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. We're supposed to have that 99.9 percent .9 uptime. I feel like this is the second time it's happened. That ain't no 99.9 .9 percent uptime. I think we do need to look into this because. Uh... <laughs> When it was a one-off, I was willing to... Yeah, we're, we're back. Everybody's saying we're back. Oh, we'll do it Sorry about that. Our Sorry, internet guys. had a little hiccup here. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. So it's happening too much. We have a dedicated T1 or T3 or fiber. I don't know. Dedicated fiber. optic line that yep. we literally spent months before we moved in laying pipe. Yes, we lay pipe, baby. You know some what I'm saying? We laid some pipe in that prime minute, too, if you know what I'm saying. Should we open a door, maybe? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah, <laughs> open the door. It's a good point. Oh, uh, there's open, no doors. Oh, somebody said open the trunk. True, <laughs> open the trunk. Mm. Zach? Yo, you want to come to my car? And Close the trunk! <laughs> <laughs> That's a twist that I like. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Jordan, this is so good. But you know, the, the, the unexpected consequence of this is just that he really exposed himself as the lunatic he is. He's totally masked off. And he's turned himself into a, such a meme. The man has no dignity left, and, it, and it's just great. I love that. He was definitely Ellen at some point <laughs> in the past. Yeah. Or so indicate all his, her, them, their film science, credits. Dude. Will all those have to be reshot since they employed the hated dead name? Nope. No. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. And the new season. Although they of may they may change the uh, credits. I've actually seen that happen before. I'm so actually, I'm actually just started uh, watching Umbrella Academy, and they're already changed there <coughs> in the first season. Yeah. So they, they oh, so they did that. do that, right? It's it's literally just changing the type on a, yeah. on a credit. But know? obviously, um, he had in transition, so he was a woman in the first two seasons, and then the third one just came out after the transition, and it started with him playing a woman like he did in the plus the plus two and then they had a whole thing where he like it's part they made a part of the story it was pretty good uh, it, it, it didn't feel too forced um where he was like i'm changed my name i'm a guy this is who i've always been it wasn't that it, 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 you know I, I was a little tricky obviously subject matter but they they found a somewhat uh graceful way graceful to, uh, way to do it okay yeah. nice but it's fucking impossible. Up yours. What do we need to go back to your high school yearbooks and change the photo? It's insane. What do you need to go back into your mom's vagina and come back out? I'll leave that question up to you to answer. <coughs> that doesn't exist, by the way, that dead name category, except in the sensorial and addled minds of a tiny fraction of insanely narcissistic and increasingly dangerous trans activists. I love that they're so dangerous, bro. Who, like, what is the danger? People are literally just asking you not to be a dick. What is the danger? To, uh, what are you threatened by? Also, I love that the consequent, the dangerous uh, consequence is, is that one of his tweets, they just asked him to erase one of his tweets. <laughs> this is impossible. Catastrophic danger to our society twitter made me erase a tweet us uh, go up like a scorpion chair just donated 50 subbies didn't they i think and it's it's george Soros again 
George Soros, George Soros, my George man, Soros. my boy. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh, yeah, let's not forget um, Keemstar's uh, great uh, tweet here. Ethan H3H3 H3 equals the George Soros of YouTube. Yeah, he's not anti-Semitic. <laughs> that's a totally <laughs> just totally no, normal sure, thing to say. I'm, and I'm sure he picked George Soros for no particular reason and not, you know, uh, any of the other hundreds of billionaires that completely you know control our politics george soros yeah specifically yeah george soros hmm. specifically. do you think i hate jewish people i, I don't know. know read this tell me what you think this definitely strikes me as anti-semitic hey eh? but you know what maybe, maybe i'm being george, sensitive maybe he's a george soros <laughs> fan and he does george soros does do a lot as, of charity and he's doing it as a compliment to you i hate the jews mm, that makes it harder to believe when mm. he says like that okay maybe not Anyway, back to back to Jordan. <laughs> when precisely was it incumbent on me to switch my terminology in regard to Elliot slash Ellen <laughs> so that I was not engaging in hateful conduct? Dude, you're such an idiot. When, when, exactly. when he changed his name. Yeah. When? When? Uh, you fucking... not, not before. Not before they came out as trans. <laughs> yeah, how would you know? How would you know? But then afterwards, you know, you could be respectful and just do that. Right. It's very, it's really complicated stuff. <laughs> and how can I describe the fact that someone who was once a woman and really still is had her breasts cut off because she, he. Yeah. I mean, that's just, that's so fucked up. Yeah. It's fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is just no different. It's, this is just straight up violent, bigoted hatred. And it's funny because in this country we have such a dark history of homophobia and racism and all, all the terrible things that we've done here and um it's funny because everyone just seems to think oh never again we're never going to do that again we're you know we've people we've are changed past that. and 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 here i mean this is it this is open hateful violent transphobia i mean these are people that exist they're born the way they were, and um, he's turned it into a culture war where where it's like they can't. They're not just existing. It's like their existence is a th existential threat to him, to the point where I, I feel like they're close to justifying violence. To you know what I mean? Like yep. they're getting there. Yep. Because when you frame them as like a threat, right, then, then it's easy to justify violence. Yeah, and I think that's that's actually where they want to go with this. That's where it's going. <laughs> they, their, them had fallen prey to a viciously harmful <laughs> fad without using the appropriate sex-linked pronoun and the real name of the real person to whom this was really done with his, her, their voluntary but unfortunate acquiescence. And so it was impossible to communicate what had happened to my audience without apparently running afoul of the impossible and absurd rules that now hypothetically govern morality itself. In the Wait, did I miss the part where he compares the surgery to the Nazi death camps? Or did no, I think it's coming up. It's coming up, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Days of the degenerated postmodern and Marxist ethos. There it that is! We must still, no matter my favorite. It's such a word salad, too. <laughs> that post marks and uh, the modern post Marxist and the, the fucking neo fascist. Post modern neo Marxist. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. Literally, no one even knows what that means, bro. Even like, I don't even think you know what that means. How impossible it is, abide by or else. And you might object. Ellen slash Elliot is an adult. 30 something and fully capable of making up his, her, their own mind. Just stop. Like you did it right the yeah. first time. He's like, when, you're going out of your way. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing is. <laughs> but I love this. Like, okay, I, I, I will give you that he's a grown person, 35 <laughs> years old, but here, let's see what's wrong with it. <laughs> About such things. And she, he, they are welcome from the liberal and the libertarian position to go to hell in a handbasket as she, he, they see fit. And fair enough.
to some degree. <laughs> and fair enough, to some degree. However. But I think the government needs to intervene into people's lives. But I don't believe it is either merely picayune or inappropriate <coughs> to point out that Ellen slash Elliot, who is quite a good actor slash actress, is also a ritual model for emulation. Being a star with all the privileges and, let us point out, the responsibilities that go along with that. So by acquiescing to this surgery and by publicizing it, by insisting upon the sanctity and the moral virtue of his, her, their new, expensive, dangerous, and medically enhanced identity, and by participating in the whole identity charade, <laughs> Alan slash Elliot has undoubtedly, with his her, their so-called courage. Dude, is that you're making, you're not even like trying to make it, you're making it hard to watch. Like, like just from video. like a, from a dick, from addiction, <laughs> from, from, from an orator standpoint. standpoint. Like yeah. just pick a fucking pronoun and stick with it. Like I get you're, you're trying to be offensive, but. Yeah, but you're losing me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, let's just, come on, let's, come on, bro. Just be offensive, just... just stick to whatever you like the best there. Yeah. Was, was he has one? to dehumanize him every chance he gets. Every, <laughs> literally every, every single chance. time. Someone said this isn't the same person who was on your podcast. Yeah, I totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah, his his uh, his hair plugs grew in a lot more thicker. I looked back because some people thought that maybe he got the surgery after seeing your hairline. Right. So That's I went back possible. to the episode and I think he got it actually right before then. He he, he did it in preparation. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. sitting exactly. across from me. Ah, uh, true. Exactly. Oh, he confirmed it. Yeah, I agree. He was not this crazy when he came on the show. I mean, he was dabbling a little bit and he was definitely more. He wasn't so mask off if he did was feeling all this shit. Well, I certainly. Know. Yeah. No, I fact. think he did, but I think he was far better at or had some sort of incentive to not necessarily uh, go all out with well yeah now he has he a full financial feels. incentive he's being paid yeah, to right just look at the description he has like donation links daily wire links oh is that right yeah it's look. so obvious that he's doing everything for money let's see refusing to back down by the way he wrote this about himself refusing to back down dr jordan b peterson calls out the woke moralists as he deconstructs the tweet that put him in the censor's crosshair read more here at the daily wire do you, I need more details. Social link? <laughs> twi a twi what, what, Cam? Do you see his first social link, too? Twitter, uh, let's see, Twitter censored him, but the voice of Jordan Peterson can still be heard with exciting new exclusive content at Daily Wire Plus. Oh, no, scroll down. Support this channel. Like his actual social. Courses, yeah. links, social, Twitter. Let's go. <laughs> he cares about Twitter so much, man. <laughs> Love that for him. So is he still? He's just locked out. Like yeah. his account isn't banned. He just can't tweet until. He I mean, this is tweet. great. This is good for everybody, honestly. How long? How long time do you think he won't delete the tweet for? Well, they first of all they said pending a review. You can erase it and get unbanned now, or you can wait for the review to go through. Yeah. Right. So it might just end up being a non. Like he might just have it lifted without having to delete it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, but he's Jordan pinned didn't... this? Jordan pinned this comment. So Peterson puts out the kind of inflammatory tweet that will obviously get you suspended on Twitter, then releases a video calling, like, acting like a martyr for free speech, and by complete coincidence, the Daily Wire announces he's their newest commentator. Doesn't this all seem a little too contrived? <laughs> he, he pinned that. Well, I he see that he replied to? to it, so maybe he pinned it because he epically <laughs> ownaged this person. Yeah, but... here's his response. You'll notice that a week went by. Post tweet before Twitter acted. Are you suggesting I orchestrated the fact that Twitter banned me on the same day I partnered with Daily Wire? How could I possibly do that? Sorry, bucko. That was just luck on my part and stupidity on theirs. Nice. But I don't it was care luck. about that. I like that he admits Oh, that. interesting. It was very lucky for me that I am getting all of this media attention right as I have this uh, big announcement to it's make. It's actually good news, he's saying. You sons hmm. of bitches. Curious. Uh, he's actually ha seems to be happy that it happened. Yeah. And remember, the White House itself has tweeted out every indication of believing in the courage of those who transition. 
enticed many a poor, confused adolescent girl, Canadian, most Shut likely, to blame her emergent, pubescent, <laughs> self-consciousness, confusion. I don't understand his it, theory. He thinks that pe trans people are just faking it. Like, people are willing to go undergo surgery just because, it, like, it's a fad? I mean, you're crazy to think that. Well, he is crazy, but, like, what's your theory, dude? The White House has applauded the courage of trans people. What's, what, what? What's it to you, you fucking Canadian? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> why, are you, why are you even commenting on that? <laughs> what it? There you go. Get him, Dan. Since Zach mentioned the audio, I can't stop paying attention to all the flaws in it. And it seems like when he zooms in, it seems like it's a different audio track. Like, it's not even... It clips. It, oh, yeah, it's not so? even, like, the same volume. Interesting. Duty. Dirty. Duty. Some would say he did a... A transition on his audio Ooh. surgery. It's a it's a blast. It's a it's a sin against God. <laughs> Let the audio be what it is. This it was born suffers. terrible. Let it be terrible. No audio enhancing cuts. And discomfort <laughs> on being born in the wrong body and believing that the courageous, self affirming, and morally admirable route is hormonal treatment, sterilization. Subjugation to a lifetime of expensive medical complications. Hey, how about mind your own fucking business? Let's start there, Jordan Peterson. How does this even affect you in the slightest way? What happened to just mind your own fucking business, bro? It has nothing to do with you at all. Cation, how delightfully profitable is that? And oh, misery. Sure. And I believe firmly that <laughs> Ellen slash Elliot or whatever the hell her name or his name Dude, is. Dude, you're so angry at, at him. He doesn't even fucking know who you are. <laughs> you fucking loser, dude. Bears moral culpability <laughs> for that. And finally, with regard to the final phrase, criminal physician, I must say that I've had some post-coital, so to speak. Post-coital? This motherfucker just said post-coital? That was the line that put me over the what top. Are we, what, what are we talking about? What are you talking about, dude? He's saying, well, post it's like when you fuck someone and then you're like, yeah. oh, I regret it. Like, how many of those nights have you been having lately, Jordan? Well, it just, in general, yeah, it's, he basically, he literally He's, is saying he after... Busted, he got his nut. Yeah, he nutted <laughs> off of being transphobic. And in like, la layman's terms, post-nut clarity. Yeah, he got post-nut clarity after he fucked Dude, he, got, his he busted load. his load. Yeah. And then he's like, I went too far calling the doctor. Or you said poise coital, you fucking weirdo. He's fucking such a freak, and dude. finally, <laughs> with regard to the final phrase, I think that's a slip, too, physician. because I think, it, yeah. I must say I mean, that I've had some post-coital, so to speak, regrets about... So to speak. Well, I cannot believe you just said post-coital. Say that I've had some I got my nut <laughs> being trans... My, I get off on being transphobic. Yeah. Coital. Post benzo Post clarity, coital. more like. Yeah. Post I just came out of my benzo haze and I had a moment of clarity. <laughs> anyway, I'll see y'all later. Post coital. <coughs> Post coital clarity. Out that phrase. It is clearly the case that the surgical operation performed by the butchers who butchered Elliot slash Ellen was legal. So, was it criminal or not? Were the operations undertaken by the fascist physicians who carried out the Nazi medical experiments legal? Yes. Bro, you really <laughs> are so out of control. I mean, here, let's just start. If you want to compare it to Nazi uh, uh, medical treatment, well, for one, Elliot is consenting participant. I mean, we could start there. That seems like a pretty big difference, right? Was this a point? Was this a post-coital slip up too about the Nazi <laughs> yes. concentration camps? I gotta go back there. This shit's nuts. Was it criminal or not? Were the operations undertaken by the fascist physicians who carried out the Nazi medical experiments legal? Yes, under the laws of the time. But were they criminal? 
I'll leave that question up to you to answer. I'll leave that question to you if you have the (laughs) courage to answer. Were Nazis war criminals? I leave that to you. (laughs) I'm not comfortable answering that. Yeah, dude. One is a willing participant. The other is a uh, tortured uh, medical subject. So um, Post-coital. Pretty interesting comparison. Nazi physicians and their assistants force prisoners into participating. They did not willingly volunteer. Well, of course not. And no consent was given for the procedures. Typically, the experiments were conducted without anesthesia and resulted in death, trauma, disfigurement, or permanent disability, and as such are considered examples of medical torture. Yep. I don't think that's what happened in uh, Elliot's case. I would say there's a difference. Pretty big difference, actually. Pretty interesting comparison, though, buddy. Are the Nazis criminals? I'm not comfortable answering that question. <laughs> but I will say that the doctor who, who operated on Elliot is. At least the Nazis were trying to get to some truth in medicine. You know, those Nazi, uh, <coughs> those Nazi medical tests really advanced medicine. There was a lot of merit to them. Post-coital. I mean, they were going to uh. die. They were going to die anyway. Might as well put them to good use. Post-coital. We could have put those titties uh. to good use. Uh. We could have put those titties to good use. Uh. I could have sucked those dry. Post-coital. Uh. <coughs> I need some post-coital clarity on them titties. It's uh. <laughs> horrific. Please stop. <laughs> And further, perhaps it might be objected. What about the damage done by hypothetically leaving those confused about their identity to dwell in their confusion? Aren't we morally obliged to intervene? I mean, this is straight and up Nazi shit. Say, like, this is literally, no. like, you, you can't catch being transgender from people. It's not going to spread, you fucking idiot. Like, well, also, he's got it backwards. It's good to encourage people who are confused. Yes. It's good to make them feel like they can be themselves. It's good to make them feel like some fucking creepy six-year-old is going to make a three-shot cam in a suit <laughs> questioning the legitimacy of you to exist to be who you are. I mean, this is, this is basically... And he has said he's pro-conversion therapy, so this is basically... Uh, a conversion therapy philosophy which says we're going to change who you are who you are is not good we need to change who you are <coughs> who you are is inherently evil we need to change that so you've actually got it backwards you're leading with hate instead of leading with compassion that's what you're doing here mr uh, doctor little dick bald ass and it's like purposeful ignorance is coming off as stupid at this point i think in the yeah. video oh uh, totally like you're still confused totally you've just explained it to me totally. like what the fuck are you trying to say it's it's yeah it's just it's dumb but he's appealing to like a really low common denominator of people yeah this is the, actually the tweet dumb. this is the tweet that happened recently and this is the one that made me erase those um episodes and this one kind of went under the radar but he says he called conversion therapy moral grandstanding justin trudeau outlawed conversion therapy in canada jordan peterson called it moral grandstanding and i was like man hell no fuck this shit i'm not down with this guy anymore i'm not even gonna make excuses for him yeah you deleted the episodes (laughs) about six days later i believe thank you Mm -hmm. yeah thank you well and also let's not forget jordan Called me out on Twitter. What's going on, Ethan? The woke mob gotcha? What he and he asked me, what did I say that was so offensive? And I gave him a list, a comprehensive list, and he didn't answer me. Hmm. He did not answer me. Weird. So I don't get that. I'm trying to make a point. <laughs> I'm not a great debater or intellectual or anything. <clears throat> I'm just surprised he didn't want to engage me after he asked me. You know, I was like, am I going to answer? And I said, you know what? He asked me, so I'm going to give him, I'm going to, I'm going to follow this through 
he asked, I'm going to give him do give him that um, luxury. You know, I'll tell you what happened because she's so mad at Twitter for not. And he didn't answer me. Didn't even acknowledge me. Fuck out. He still follows me, though, which is awesome because I can I can comment on his restricted tweets. <laughs> <clears throat> utter carelessness of the Twitter organization. Oh, yeah, this is the tweet he sent me. There was like such a banger. You will be held to a higher and higher and soon impossible to maintain ethical standard by the very mob you currently wish to please. Then uh, you will make a mistake and they will devour you with glee. With glee. Please take this warning seriously. I liked you. <laughs> we were friends. <laughs> um, ooh, I saw I know exactly what you're you see that yeah, comment about the hair plug. <laughs> Yeah, I knew. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Look, somebody, talking. somebody in the comments, candor pants. <coughs> Maybe he used grandma's pubes for the hair plugs. <laughs> they said, which, wow. We well, you know, we know it was a thick. She had thick hair. Yeah, yeah. So. Thick mat of hair. Paintbrush esque. I yeah. remember. Right, and his hairline almost looks painted on. Where's your grandma, Jordan? Are you harvesting her pubes? Good. Tell us the truth. Good catch. Good catch there. I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool. Oh boy, here we which go. Which was also a river. Oh. Uh, her genital uh, region uh, was exposed dimly. It had the appearance Where's the of grandma, a thick Jordan? Mat of hair. We know what you're doing. She was with stroking her. herself absentmindedly. Uh, Stop uh, changing uh, the subject. She walked over to me with a handful of pubic hair compacted no. into something resembling a large artist's paint. Uh, she pushed this at my face. This man is sick. I raised my arm several times to deflect her hand. Finally, unwilling to hurt her or interfere with her uh, any further. I let her have her way. I let her have her she way. She stroked my face with <laughs> the brush going, gently man. and oh said, like a child. <clears throat> Here he said in his original tweet, he said, what have I said precisely that motivated your action and your accusation? Precisely. I said, I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. I'm going to tell him exactly. And he fucking bitched out. Beta shit. I don't know what's up. Straight beta shit. Or maybe there. he just missed it. No, he didn't miss it. It was like a whole damn discourse. <laughs> Everyone's losing their mind on Twitter. Of course he it. didn't miss it. <laughs> He's just a bitch. That dude's on Twitter 12 hours a day. You don't miss anything. Yeah, exactly. Fact. And I would say, no. No. <laughs> Why? Well, no. First. No. Why? No. Well, <laughs> where am I? Confused. No. <laughs> Why? Who, no. Where am I right Why? now? Why? <laughs> no. Why? Why? Well, where? Huh? Who? Huh? huh? Where? Yes. Huh? What? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Do no harm, as the Hippocratic Oath, remember that, insists. Yeah, and well, that's just your opinion, man. <laughs> He's not doing harm. You are. Dick. Second, it has been a matter of historical consensus that sins of omission are less egregious than sins of commission. Thus, leaving Adele? someone with gender dysphoria, no matter how warranted, and perhaps it is in a very <laughs> tiny minority of truly unfortunate cases, <coughs> to suffer the consequences I love it. like of some of you might be telling the truth. Yeah, it, but the what? vast majority of after all, all of that. He's just like, oh yeah, gender dysphoria is a real thing. It might be and real. it's a very sad thing. Some of you are fake. But 99% of y'all are fake. So wait, so what's the treatment? Because let's remember again, it wasn't that long ago where homosexuality was considered a mental illness, guys. Okay. So let's hear what's the treatment for this doctor. Of the theoretical mismatch between soul and body. Is less of a risk ethically, personally, socially, and philosophically than the extremely active intervention that constitutes so called gender confirming, another hated phrase, surgery. You don't hate it that much. Look at your hairline. <laughs> I might also point out 
that the trans surgery enterprise is now a $300 million per annum growth industry. Rate of projected expansion, 15% per year. Projected in- I love, this is nuts. Big trans. <laughs> this big trans is ruining our country. They're just cutting off genitals like it's nothing. And rigging in the big bug. <laughs> They're baby. raking in the dough. Someone keeps asking, Does, uh, did I watch Stranger Things? Yeah, it was awesome, bro. The new season was sick. We so haven't talked about the second volume because awesome. you had COVID. So good. Let's talk about it on Friday because we're got no time. But dude, the last two episodes, I was like an hour and a half, one, and then the other one, two and a half hours. I was like, oh my God, dude. Daddy's feasting. <laughs> You guys cannot spoil it for me. I promise. I promise. I'm in season two. I've what are you waiting for? Are you catching up? She's, we're going to finish it. You know what's cool? I think the new season was my favorite of all of them. Hmm. Volume one, I think, was my favorite. I found it to be the character most evil. Like, it was the most villain, like Freddy Krueger yeah. type. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought yeah. it was awesome. Can I just blow... Can I just blow past the third season? Because the third season is where third, I lost third season no. I liked it. No, you need I, to see yeah. Billy, man. Billy fucked. Oh, too. yeah. <laughs> Billy that fucked. Actor I quit mid third so season. Good. I didn't get the whole Eleven's greaser side story. That shit was so weird and pointless. But Billy, man, that guy fucked. I think Dave that was right. season two. That was actually season two. Oh, it was? Yeah. That was and that, had, that was stupid, too. Oh, yes. Season three was like 80s. So, season three was in the summer. Yeah. The only one in summer. With Billy. I mean, I've seen people in chat agree that the fourth. It's worth it to get to the fourth. So maybe I'll just trudge really through it. Is. I don't know. Because I, I, I love the first one. And the second one was okay, but definitely was... It's worth it. The yeah. fourth season And the awesome. third one, I, I, don't, I got like four episodes in and I was like, this is, this is shit now. I like them all, honestly. But yeah, I like the first and fourth. Yeah, it's uh, a good watch, yeah. though. It's not that bad. It's a good show, you know. <laughs> I agree. Well, I like Billy as a character, though. I so like good. Yeah. All right, let's finish this fucking shit. Increase by 2027 to $750 million per year. An expanding enterprise in a time of global uncertainty. Time to invest both in the requisite surgical <laughs> skills and perhaps in any industry associated with this vicious and unconscionable. I want some stock in trans, in who's selling stock, buddy? <laughs> I'm opening a clinic. <laughs> I'm trying to get paid. By the way, three hundred million a dollar year industry in the whole country of medical like um, verticals. That's not that. Well, that's big. the whole world, was it not? Or was it? Specific? Oh, if it's the whole world. That's that's minuscule. It's dropping the bucket. Yeah, yeah, it's literally like a small business. I mean, how much is like cancer treatment? Is like trillions? You know what I mean? <laughs> a year. Like, Time to invest. Yeah. I mean, even <laughs> like butt surgeries, like <laughs> one point five three BBLs. Uh, I just like butt, butt job. Yeah, yeah. BBL. BBL. Yeah. What's BBL industry at? Let's see. I'm guessing the same. One point uh, five three billion. There you go. BBL so industry worldwide. Is that that's got a, that is that cosmetic surgery in general or is that that's, specifically that's BBL the Aspen global Larchman. buttock augmentation market. Wow, so it's a fraction of people getting fucking ass yeah, implants. It's not bro. big. <laughs> 300 million a year <laughs> is very small. It's very small. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's it's a drop in the bucket. <laughs> Time to invest. Medical expenses. That's, that's, a, that's, that's not a big yeah. uh, business vertical. To invest. Time to invest. Well, fad. Get in on primary the Primary entangling, floor. as such things so often do, the youthful and female. Isn't that a concern? Intersectionalists? No. Maybe Not until he understands this, he shouldn't be allowed to get like his colonoscopies or something. Right. Whatever his medical stuff is, let's put that on hold so that you can fully understand this. Mm -hmm. You know? No, I think no more induced comas for uh, drug rehabilitation. No. <laughs> uh, do you know what the benzo, what's the benzo treatment industry? Like the the benzo recovery industry size, I bet you it's way bigger. What even would I call that? <coughs> rehabilitation, just drug rehabilitation. I mean, that's way more general, but just to give you an idea. Let's see. It's got to be massive. By the way, we, there was another fifty uh, uh, members donated, and um, 
this time by somebody called Mask Off, and their icon is George Soros. So it was, oh no, it was George, George Soros. It was George Let's Soros. Go. I love you, Georgie. <laughs> I love you, Georgie boy. Let's get Let's it started. Go. <laughs> I'm seeing some crazy numbers around uh, 42 billion a year. Yeah. For that makes drug sense. rehab, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking that's just the U.S. Actually, <laughs> yeah, that that that's that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that's probably a mid. There, you know, that's probably like a mid level mid a medical vertical. Mm -hmm. Three hundred million, and this guy's out here talking like it's a conspiracy. Bitch, you just participated in a forty billion dollar drug rehabilitation program. Shut the fuck up, dude. What a hateful little demon he is. Hair restoration is a $9.2 billion industry, Jordan. Something he also participated in. A lot bigger than $300 million. <laughs> Nose jobs, uh, $5 billion. Nose jobs alone, $5 billion industry. And based on his logic of uh, the way you're born and all that and being pride, uh, prideful, same logic. Take your fucked up nose, lady. Precisely. God made that nose. God made that hairline. How dare you fuck with God's creation? I could have sucked those tits before they were cut off by that butcher. Post-coital. I could have got a post-coital nut on those Ugh. titties. Post-coital <coughs> shove or ideology to scalpel. Is that not a true moral hazard? And I'm not taking down that tweet or acknowledging oh, that my tweet violated the Twitter rules. God, he's so Up bad. yours, woke moralists. <laughs> badass. <laughs> what a fucking gang. So fucking sick. So dope. He's cool, man. Uh, he's up cool. Yours. He's a bad boy, actually. I give it a week until that tweet's deleted. He's fiending. Up right now. yours. He's fiending like he fiends for benzos. I, I will never admit that I broke the rules of a pi private company. He's kind of like, life. He's in his uh he's in his no nut era right now because he can't <laughs> do demon retention. He can't do transphobia on the timeline right now, so he's he's not getting he's it. He's losing it, bro. Yeah. That semen retention is <laughs> filling him up. We'll see who cancels who. He's backed up. Twitter's a bro, shut up. Dude, this you is a grown ass who? man. That was so villainous. This, this, this is a grown this man is a PhD. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. For acknowledging that my tweet violated the Twitter rules. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. What does that mean? You want to? You want? I'm gonna cancel Twitter. You want to participate in cancel culture now? I, I don't know. What does that mean? Who are you canceling? Is that a threat? Yeah, it we'll sure was a threat. Who? No, it was most definitely a threat. We'll see who cancels through. This is not a bomb threat against a specific address. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Twitter's a rat hole in the final analysis, and I have probably contributed to that while trying to use, understand, probably. and master that horrible, toxic platform. No doubt that I am I obsessed with and post, uh, spend 20 hours so a day on. 100 times a day. It's <laughs> pathological. Apologies for that, and I'm trying to learn, but it's a relief in some real sense to be banned, and I regard it under the present conditions as a badge of honor. Jordan Peterson uncensored now on Daily Wire Plus. Yo. Couldn't even make Up it onto yours. the fucking main Daily Wire. He's on the plus, dude. He's on the fucking side. Well, channel. no, they're smart. That's the paying service. They want this, yeah. is, this is huge money for them. I'm sure I'm sure they're breaking it in from this, man. Hell yeah. It's awesome. Well, there you have it. We made it. The great thinker. He's thought his way. He's thought of. He's thought of everything. <laughs> All right. Well, there's a lot of stuff here, but uh, we're over it. There's a really good Keemstar live fail, but we'll maybe watch it on Friday. Did you want Save to it. talk about the uh, domino effect of uh, Jordan Peterson with Dave Rubin and? Uh... Oh, dude. Well, apparently he's back, so I don't know. Oh, Rubin's back, loser. Delete. Yeah, a bunch of right wing grifters are trying to jump in on this because they see like it's good publicity. And so Dave Rubin like tweeted something similar and then he got banned and then made a whole thing. 
Mm. I, Dave Rubin is such a joke, dude. How does that guy live with himself? But whatever. Um, listen. Yeah, throwback to Ben Shapiro telling Dave Rubin to his fucking face that he wouldn't go to his wedding because it's a bad gay. move. So let me. He wouldn't even bake him a cake. <laughs> Look at this. This is the Dave Rubin, bro. This, this. What are you doing, bro? Let's okay, look. so if you wouldn't bake me a cake, that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. now because it's fifty-fifty, I can't bake you a cake, which uh, David's uh, incredible. I'm not sure. Chef, I don't want a cake from a gay guy. The whole wow. thing, man. Oh, yeah, and now I feel bad. He I mean, would have done it for you. You got but me this close. Putting that aside, you can't have yeah. David's kosher cake now. Um, <coughs> if we were having an anniversary party, would you come? If I was inviting all the crew that we all know, and we were just an anniversary party, we're just having a party, and uh, and I'll even throw in some kosher food for you to make sure you don't have to bring your own. Food. You know, honestly, I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it in the same <laughs> See, way. So that's interesting to me. Yeah, I, that's 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 a, interesting to yeah. me. You hate me. You actually hate. <laughs> you just me. realized. <laughs> Yeah, Wait, the, the, the timestamp is too late. If you have deep divisions with your spouse on these issues, I think uh, that, and, and you're looking for the family <laughs> anyway, yeah. then I think that these are issues where building on a bad foundation is, is a bad move. Also, Dave Rubin recently adopted a child with his husband, mm -hmm. and and um, didn't didn't the guys on the Daily Wilder buyer say that's like a sin? They yeah, don't I mean, agree. He, oh. he got attacked by all of his fans, because awesome. of course he did. Yeah, no, he's... Love that. What a useful idiot he is. Both. So let me, okay, so if you wouldn't bake me a cake, that's okay. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I gotta find I think a... part of friendship, by the way, is that. Like, we go home at night and we... I quite get to, that I would be able to get to with someone that you care. I, right, I and then this is my view, is you don't... You're gonna go out to dinner sometime in the near future. <laughs> but, but he's married would, already. But, but an anniversary, it was my anniversary last... Ah, where's the timestamp? This is why I truly, truly believe, I believe <laughs> it now more than ever, identity politics is the biggest threat that a free society has and it's particularly our free society, because we've done the melting pot better than anybody. We did a melting pot. We did it right. We blended this thing right. Everyone still wants to come here. Yeah, I'm not sure Ben loves that. He wants to unblend it. For a better life. All these celebrities that always tweet they're going to leave, they want apparently everyone to come in and share in the horrors. So I think it's truly, it is a threat. But yes, I think we will get past it. And the reason I'm hopeful is because when we look at all is it of coming the... Up? The mainstream I mean, media that's I'm just floundering peddling the this stuff crumb. I'm watching your show and then I saw the, that was about the, the anniversary, but he asked him about the wedding. He says, No, I will not go. Uh, Shapiro on there and how uh, the people change their lives that. based on this. He was yeah, and, making and, a cake for the wedding, I, I believe. He was question yeah. for no, you. He asked him point blank, Would you come to my wedding? He said no. Uh, let's see. Um, it says, love the, this one's interesting. Love the two of you. You both converted a socialist into a libertarian conservative. Awful awful right. question. Shapiro, will you bake Ruben a wedding cake? <laughs> okay, so I mean, my answer is. Well, I'm married already. Right, he's, but, mar but, he's married would, already. But, but an anniversary. But, I, it was my anniversary last week. An anniversary cake would have been nice. Right. So, I, so the answer is no, and the okay. reason I won't is because as a religious Jew, I, <laughs> yeah. I do not participate in activities that I believe are sinful. But again, we live in a free country, and Dave knows this. Dude, you know, he just said you're going to hell because you're gay, and you fucking break bread with that man. What a bitch he is. Dave Rubin is a soulless, fucking, useful idiot. What a bottom of the barrel bitch he is. You have to care what I think yeah. about sin. And, and <coughs> as long as I'm not bothering Dave, I don't see why it's a problem. Yeah. So it's a, it will. It's not a problem if I, if I think you're going to hell and I think you're evil. Forget it. It's not a problem. We can still sit together. Well, I, well, I, <clears throat> now, now, if it was my choice, if I could eradicate every homosexual, I would, you know. Uh, but, but that's not legal and it's not possible. So, 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 so it's fine. I mean, it's not fine. It's a sin, but for now, you know, for now, for now. Does Dave have a husband? Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, okay. And yeah. are we friends? Yeah. And are we going to go out to dinner sometime in the near future? Yeah. I mean, yeah. But but there's a difference between me just being friends with Dave and me actively participating in an event that I feel is religiously sinful. And I think this is how most religious Christians and most religious Jews feel. And while that's awkward, yeah. we're still friends in spite of it, which is why we're friends. If well, we couldn't be friends I, in spite of it, then right. it would be a bad thing. Well, look, when I when I did your interview show, which, by the way, I mean, yeah, you jacked the idea of an interview show from me. It's all right. It's but, true. But uh, nobody had done it before <laughs> me. Um, but what, what you said that to me, and, and I truly mean this. Like, if you think what I'm doing is sinful, like, I... I don't, it sounds glib, but I don't care. I, right, I and then this is my view, is you don't have to care, you, right? right? It's a free country. Like, right, like, that's the thing, and it's like... 
look, look, the high level of course someone's going to go, well, wait a minute. If you I really this. think his marriage is sinful or something, of course there'll, there may be a place that in the nature of our friendship, maybe that we can't quite get to, that I would be able to get to with someone that didn't think <laughs> For that. sure. That is very possible. Ben's like, for sure. I, I don't want to be close friends with you. I, you're gay. And <laughs> that's just not cool, dude. Well, and, and, it, uh, and it goes both ways, right? Like, I then look at you and I go, well, well, why? Right, like, that's a kid. You don't want me teaching your kid about the nature of family, perhaps, right? I mean, like, like possibly, but I, but you're probably a pretty good dad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Dave, you're such a bitch. Why is it that we're able to do this and most people can't do this? Because that's what I'm curious. About. I think it's beautiful that you fucking hate that me. I have no principles. Yeah, I, that I, I have think, no spine. That I'll do great. anything for money. Why can't everybody act like this? I just think it's beautiful that you can hate my guts, tell me I'm evil, and that I shouldn't exist, and that you wouldn't want to be close friends with me or attend an anniversary party, and that we could just still be friends and I could ignore all that. <laughs> I don't care about any other gay person's well-being. Oh, boy. This is the fucking best clip. One of my favorite you sure? Dave Rubin moments. Home at night and we can have our own lives. I mean, that's, that's really, and, and I think part of friendship, by the way, is that. Like, we go home at night and we just have our own lives. Yeah. Like, I'm not married to you, right? Yeah. I mean, like, that's, <laughs> like, my wife and I have to agree on these issues. You and I don't have to agree on these issues in order yeah. for us to share a common space together. And yeah. that's really the important thing. Do you think your me. wife and you have to agree? Anyway, whatever. Fuck that. Anyway, that's it. That's that. Um, people are saying Bobby and Kalila broke up? That's not true, is it? They did. Wait, when did that happen? Uh, today is what I'm seeing, but... <laughs> Wait, where was that Where was that made the, public? The audio for Tiger Belly went up today. Their latest episode. I They're guess breaking up? Yeah. I guess so. What I the fuck? I haven't, heard, of, haven't yeah, heard, heard it yet, but you see everybody in the chat spamming about it. What? Sam was listening to it this morning, I think. I listened to bits and pieces of it. They don't really discuss it until the end of the episode, but... Yeah. Wow, that's shocking. I'm curious about the details of that. Damn. That's crazy. But they're still going to do Tiger Belly together. I doubt that. Really? Come on. <laughs> that's what they say now. Let's be honest. Come on. It's not going to last. There's no fucking way they're going to keep doing the show together, right? They just broke I up. I mean, that's yeah. wishful thinking. It really is. I mean, who knows? They might get back together tomorrow. Mm, I don't know. What are you laughing about, Dan? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right, that's it. What do we do? Like a ten-hour episode? I'm. I gotta uh, go. It's rest. three hours long. Yeah. Yeah, go we should wrap it call. up. Thank so, you guys. Theoretically, we have a show tomorrow morning. I don't know. Like, are you up for that? I don't know. Okay. I don't know yet. I'll talk. Let's. I'm gonna think about it. Okay talk about it off air but anyway guys i'm glad that uh, we had a nice day here together oh ace fest people are asking that's this weekend right uh, it sure is <laughs> so yeah i mean um look i can't wait i'm just so excited about ace fest this weekend yep more on that next week i just can't wait um anyway listen it was fun i'm glad that we're back I missed you guys. We had a nice show here today. I don't know if we're going to have a show tomorrow morning. I'm going to see, uh, but we'll definitely be here on Friday. Okay. Sounds good. And thank you to George Soros for, I <laughs> wow. think, like 250 uh, wow. today. Wow. George. And everybody else, I guess I, we should mention. Woo! There were lots of people donating. And congratulations, Dan. Five years of service. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Here's to five more. Uh, there was a $100 donation from Adam D. Found out today I passed step one, first in a series of three grueling MD licensing exams. Oh. And wanted to spread congrats. love. Med students all over support the compassion and policies y'all espouse despite Thanks, our current bro. U.S. nightmare. Keep fighting for humanity. Papa bless and love you all. That is a very nice message. Legend. Congratulations, Adam. Congrats. What was his name? Adam. Adam, Adam D's nuts. D's nuts. <laughs> Let's go right now, baby. <laughs> that one's for you, love. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> oh, man. All right, guys. So definitely see you on Friday, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, I got to rest my voice. I'm concerned about doing a show tomorrow. It's very hard on my voice. That was kind of what I was wondering. Cause... My, my throat's undergoing a lot of pain right now, actually. All right, let's wrap it up.
<laughs> Fuck out of here. All right, guys. So, you know, anyway, love y'all. Thanks for being here. Uh, see ya. See you soon. Ta-ta. <laughs>